Okay. Yeah, and and first of all, thank you for for having the conversation. So I I did write down um a couple of things to start. Uh, mm -hmm. throughout the throughout your response, uh, first of all, there 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 are a lot of things where I feel like you misunderstood my my argument, or maybe you were uh, making an argument for me and then responding to that argument, right? Okay. Um, for example, if I said something like uh, I would recommend like lower DPI for people, you would make the uh, it, it seemed like you would make an assumption that I'm saying like you have to, like you absolutely mm -hmm. have to. Um, just for example, like I walked it back and said, yeah, you know what, like 800 is probably like a little bit too low. Uh, I was trying to make the general point about lower the DPI as much as possible without throwing away like accuracy. And then you responded with, um, you have the opposite perspective, which is that you should raise your DPI as high as possible, as long as you're not like throwing away like accuracy, right? Yeah. And, and I, can, yeah. I, can, I can see that side. I'll start with saying that I can see that side. Um, I would agree that in general, if you were to, uh, if you're to compare two players that are perfectly comfortable, the one that's comfortable at 1200 versus the one that's comfortable at 2400, comfortable being defined as like they don't lose accuracy, as in like they can manage that. I would agree mm -hmm. that the 2400, like the higher DPI player, um, would be more, uh, would be faster. Like the reaction time would be faster because they have to move the mouse less, right? Yeah, um, yeah. I would agree in like a perfect setting that high DPI works like that. My my point was was. Uh, cater towards like the general population where I noticed that a lot of people play on like crazy like six thousand five thousand six thousand do you know what I mean so I didn't say like a, I wasn't talking about like in a perfect world I was just talking about in general I think people should probably lower it because they might not realize that they're pushing the mouse like a little bit and moving it way too far do you get what I'm you get what I'm trying to uh, I get what you mean but would would like like the first question I have is like would a casual player really play that high DPI, like on average, because I, I would probably the, like argue otherwise. I don't think they would have this high DPI. It's like, obviously there's exceptions to that. Um, then another thing is like, I'm trying to think like what I was thinking uh, at that time, because um, I, I think the reason why I was like mad, I guess, uh, at that point when you were mentioning the DPI in the video is because of the, like the example you were showing when you were really like really dragging the mouse, like left and right. I yeah. thought like that, like I thought like that is just so slow and inefficient for a league player. Like that is not something like I would be showcasing myself on a video. I I understand that. Um, I was just giving an example of like how slow my mouse was. Obviously, I didn't. Uh, I I wasn't talking about how like I, maybe I should have showed like an in-game example of like how quickly I actually move it. I was just kind of moving slowly just to show like here one side to the other. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. I don't recommend people actually play on this because they're probably not comfortable with it. Now, whether or not it's actually uh, efficient, I mean, that's a different deal, right? From my perspective, obviously, I barely have to move my mouse, actually, um, because I move my camera, which basically is a substitute for me having to move my mouse. And instead, my mouse mm -hmm. can keep center on my, uh, on my character. I can always move it all the time, so I can aim if I have to. That's fair, fight. yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm never going to use myself as an example of like, hey, look, I can do it. You can do it. Uh, I was just demonstrating like just how much I have to move thing, compared, okay. I guess, compared to others. But to address the actual point, um, I, don't, I don't have stats on like what the average person's DPI is. Uh, I was just trying to make a, you see how long it takes for us to talk about this. That's why I wanted to make a quick point and be like, yo, just to put it simply, like if you play on a crazy high DPI, I just recommend lowering it. No, I know you have to make like a, um, like everything needs to be quick because you can't go into de details. No one's going to watch a one hour video. I totally get that. Yeah. I do that myself too. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I'm assuming we both agree that like, as long as it's not crazy high, crazy low and you're comfortable and you can be accurate, it's good. Yeah. We agree on that for sure. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I I remember saying on stream I, I acknowledge that like yeah it's a different perspective. Um, I I appreciate lowering it, um, because I enjoy just like having way more accuracy and it's way easier for me to do that on eight hundred. Uh, and then you said, well, it makes you faster to react if you can play on like twenty four hundred or something, and you just like you just flick, but like you flick. I think I said like two things. Number one thing, like in in my counter argument video, I said is that like it. it 800 DPI might mean your mouse is really slow. It might also mean it's not actually slow. It's, it also depends on other factors. Right, yeah, like, yeah. Some mice are literally like bricks, and the other ones are 30 grams weight. 
Yeah. And, and you know that makes a huge difference and there's like other stuff too yeah yeah I, I didn't go into anything about mouse weight or like in-game sense or like effective sense like that kind of stuff um like yeah, the that, calculation. okay I, the, the, my point is like if i was making a video like this i would probably never like recommend a like a dpi number you know because of okay that. yeah i mean what, what would you what would you recommend uh I, I say in the future like if i were to talk about like just just aim your mouse better or like do whatever setting is I like, would, yeah, I mean, it's a preference thing, right? Like, I would say what I, what my opinion is, which is like, you want your mouse to be as fast as possible so you can make like the quickest mm -hmm. reactions, but you, you cannot be too unprecise because the faster it goes, in, the faster you go mouse bit, yeah. the more unprecise you get. Like, humans obviously cannot play at like 6k DPI and be accurate. Like, it's almost impossible. However, there is a way to do that, which is mouse acceleration. But that, that doesn't mean then your mouse DPI is 6k because mouse acceleration works in like yeah, very yeah. weird ways. Like, the historic like faker is a player that i think he plays like five or eight k dpi like he changes it throughout the years but he plays super fast sense but then when you watch him you quickly realize that it's actually not that fast because he has most ex acceleration all the time and then yeah most acceleration like works way differently like obviously i wouldn't recommend most acceleration to a, a league player or, or in general mm. but if there's any game out there that most acceleration can work on i think it's league just because the hitboxes in the game are big Okay. And yeah, yeah that, that was uh, actually that's a that great segue here. Uh, the, your your point about um, League of Legends having large hitboxes and so it's favorable. Um, okay, um, I I think you're misunderstanding me. By large hitboxes, I mean when you hover something over with your cursor. That's what I mean. I don't mean a uh, uh, needly spear flying in the straight direction and then a champion has big hitbox no oh, I mean, okay specifically the cursor so so that would apply to like auto attacks and point and click skills and not necessarily Kinda, like yeah. a like a free skill shot mm -hmm. yeah because because being able to select someone more easily is not the same as like being able to hit them more easily with like a free form skill shot mm -hmm. so so okay so that that was your point about how like why one of the reasons why a higher dpi is like okay that's what you're saying right yes Yes. Right. So, so I, I felt like that wasn't persuasive enough uh, of an argument because it's like, uh, even even with the just like the skill shots, because uh, I I didn't understand what you actually meant there. Even with what you just clarified, um, I I still wouldn't really accept that as even like um like a, like a strong enough reason. Do you know what I mean? It it yeah, have to be yeah, that plus fair. a lot I, of. I have things. more reasons than that. Like obviously, okay. I think you need to have a certain reaction in the game, like a reaction speed. Which yeah. hard DPI or like higher sense or whatever achieves a bit better than lower, right? And, and yeah, like league is like a very how do I say it? Like APM in the game needs to be high, you know. Mm. Uh, and there's a lot of actions you need to do each second, and uh, they happen all over your screen. They don't only happen in one direction, like you know. Okay, so would you agree that even if you had to react within under like 300 milliseconds, right, uh, the lower end of the average, if someone were playing on lower DPI. Uh, as long as they could flick it, like an FPS player, as long as they could flick without, like, you know, throwing their arm or anything, w wouldn't you? Uh, would you agree that like it's actually not that big of a deal, and therefore you wouldn't have to play on higher DPI? I don't know if I agree. Like, obviously, now it depends on the the specifics of the situation, right? Like, how low the DPI is, how the fast, like, how long does he need to flick it, and all of this stuff. But like. From my experience, like there's like just when when I envision someone playing league or when I play league myself, like there's just so many scenarios where you need to be constantly ready to react fast. That is the game. Like so many scenarios, like everything about the game. And to for someone to constantly be, let's say, on a very low sensitivity all the time and mm -hmm. doing constant flicking, well I, I would say they're probably just a disadvantage. Like the, 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 the problem is we're comparing high DPI and low DPI by itself. My point was that like low DPI in tandem with moving the camera with WSD, you can think of it this way, I guess. Um imagine your cursor's stuck in the middle of the screen. If you move the camera mm -hmm. with WSD, it's the same as moving your mouse. Or functionally it would be the same as moving your mouse. I, you know I understand I mean? that, yeah. So yeah. so you can you this is what I do actually. I I, I move my mouse in conjunction with the camera, so I don't necessarily have to flick all the time. Let's say someone like appears on the flank, then like maybe I have to turn around and like mouse a hard ulti or something. I can think that's like probably the only case where I I can think of like having to quickly turn around um and then like accurately aim at them. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like ultimately it's a it's a preference thing where it's like um 
as long as you can <laughs> do that without like throwing away reaction times, as long as you can do whatever setting um, structure you'd like, I think we'd both agree that it, it doesn't actually matter that much. Therefore, the argument for playing on higher DPI to have faster reaction times is not as persuasive as you would think. You get what I mean? Because, because you can do things to mitigate how much you need to react. I, I agree you can do things to mitigate how much you can react, but now we're talking about like, I feel like we're talking about like those small, small, small things that give you small, small, small edges, right? I, I don't think there's small things and I don't think there's small edges uh, if you're talking about like WASD's camera control. Or, or, like what, what are, what are, like the, what, what's an example thought, of like a... I thought like the point of the discussion was to like, like if I understood you correctly, you're saying that like someone who's like, like you, you don't think it makes a big difference if someone like flicks a bit faster with slightly faster sensitivity than, or, or like what, what is uh, like... Okay, so, so what I'm responding to is you saying that you, you don't have to, um, or, or like you shouldn't uh, play on the camera settings because you want higher DPI. Is, am I getting that right? Because like, I, I feel like that was what you were saying. It's like you don't actually want to play on these settings. Instead, you want to just have high DPI and react to shit. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I was saying. Like, um, I, I didn't, um, how do I say it? Like, I didn't tolerate having, um, having high DPI with why the reason why I don't want to play your settings. Uh, I, I just think your settings are way more inefficient compared to a normal setup um, that like a standard League Pro uses, which is like occasionally locking their camera with a spacebar, but mostly just moving their camera with a mouse using F keys and, mm. and, and blah, blah, blah. I didn't like think those two were connected. Um, you, you, think, think was... you think it's inefficient because I have to flick my mouse more because I'm, I'm low DPI? Uh, no. So the reason why I think it's inefficient is because um, First of all, you lose four keys on your keyboard. Uh, second of all, in order to move the, the camera, right, on your mm. keyboard, you need to have the fingers laying on those keys. But mm. what if you want to also use abilities at the same time, right? I think, I think it would be way more, I think it's way more efficient if your fingers are constantly ready to be laying on abilities all the time. Okay. Now, I know uh, one of the arguments that you were trying to make is like, um, uh, I think my, I think it was something like my right hand is doing way more than my left hand and I want to like split the work evenly or something like that, right? Yes. So I have a question for you. Um, yeah. When I'm, so if I move the camera with WASD, I can't use my abilities at the same time, right? One, two, three, four. Because I have to move my hand, right? Uh, well, yeah, if, if you're pressing the piece on, on yeah, the camera. I, 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 yeah, I technically can't. You would have to let them go. and then I have to the let key, them right? go, and then maybe yeah. I do some funky shit with my fingers, right? But if you're yeah. if you're playing with a mouse control and you're pushing the camera with the mouse control, um, how do you aim your skill shots and push the uh, the camera at the same time? Well, in most in most of the time in League of Legends, you don't have to. Right, you don't have to because we probably push the camera ahead of time, or maybe we're lock screen. Would, you, would we agree? Yes and no. Like like, there are cases honestly where I do have to. Um, Kind of push the camera and aim at the same time. There are cases. What do you the, do? The champion that I do that a lot is Hui, like his QW right. spell. What do you? Uh, what... You kind of flick the camera and then you QW as the as you're flicking the camera. So would I, I be right in saying that when you have to do that, when you have to push the uh, the camera and then flick to your opponent, it, it kind of requires that kind of like okay, you're pushing and then now you have to readjust really quickly and then shoot them at the same time or subsequently. I feel like I'm doing that at the same time, kind of. But like, I mean, technically, you just have to be like, you push the camera for maybe 0.1 second, and then you move high DPI so it's faster, probably, if you're accurate as well. Um, yeah. So let's say, I don't know, like 0.2, 0.3 seconds, something like that. Just maybe not as fast because you have to push your camera. And uh, it still runs into the same issue of like, what if you had to do both at the same time? Would, would you agree that it runs into that issue? Tiny bit slower, uh, and you have to do both. I'm not sure exactly what you're saying, to be honest. Like, uh, like okay, c imagine someone's like right in front of you, and you don't have to move your camera, right? And if you if you wanted to go target them, you would just move your mouse to target them, right? 
with with Wei's QW. Let's say they're on screen or something. That would be the fastest yeah. case. But what if someone were off screen? You'd have to move the camera and then you have to aim at them with the QW, right? Would that wouldn't that necessarily be slower? Than using a keyboard? No, no, no. Then then like a... uh than using QWSD basically? Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. Just imagine like your setup, right? Like in on on your setup, okay. if someone was okay. on your screen and you didn't have yeah. to move your camera and you just hit them, all you have to do is QW and then you know hit them. Or like, yeah, or like yeah, aim yeah. That's like as fast as possible. That's the fastest case possible. And then and then yeah. the other case is where you have to push your screen to see them and then you shoot them. That's mm -hmm. necessarily slower because you had to do an action in between, right? Um yes. 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 And it's slower by the amount of time that it took to push the camera and then readjust your mouse to where you know it had to go, like the target. Something like that, yeah. Right. So same thing for WASD. If someone's on my screen, I would just press one and two, right? QW. And if they were off my screen, I'd still have to WASD. So I'd have to press like WD, push it to the right, and then move my hand really quickly, and then mm -hmm. one and two. But the difference is. I can keep my cursor where I know he'll like like it'll end up. If I if I saw him like walk to the top right of my screen, I'm gonna keep my mouse right there. Yeah, but isn't that the same for a mouse because you're panning the camera there, right? In the same direction. It the the difference uh, the difference for me is that you have to readjust the mouse multiple times while I can keep my mouse basically where I know where the guy would Wait, be. Why would you have to readjust mouse? Uh, because even though you're pushing it to the top right there, you still have to pull it back from the corner. And you are not you're not exactly like perfectly accurate as to where the thing would pan. I mean, I'm assuming most people would be good at it, but I'm I'm sure yeah, some people okay, might. But why do you think people are not accurate at that? Well, no, no, I'm not saying that uh, they're 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 not accurate at all. I'm saying that they would be less accurate. I should have clarified this. I feel like they would be really. Weird. You think they would be less accurate? Right, because uh, because the the keys translate to like pretty much like an exact amount. While sometimes if someone has like high DPI and they don't know exactly when the mouse would hit the edge of the screen and exactly how fast I would. Like I, I actually love to run this experiment of seeing like how accurately can someone pan the camera? Can they get it to stop right when they hit a target dummy? Probably not. I feel like they I, I used it. to practice that um, for a long, long time. So what I used to do, especially like many years ago when I was a pro, one of my practice routines was to go into a practice tool and then click on the map at exactly where I want the camera mm. to pan. And I kept like flicking, clicking to map, clicking to map to, to try to make it as fast as F keying to another lane, but more about like, cause F key is only center where the, where the ally, uh, like where the champion is, right? But I was more like, what if there's no champion there, but I want to click really fast there. So like, the, I feel uh, like the I'm, scenario, I'm not, what you're expecting. I'm not talking about like clicking on the map. I'm talking about like pushing I know, the- but I think what you're saying uh -huh. is really similar. Because I think what you're ultimately talking about is accuracy and speed uh, on the mouse. It, it, it's similar, but um, I, I, I don't... Okay, so I, I'm just talking about like, uh, like what if you held your mouse on the right side of your screen, right? It would just keep scrolling, okay. right? Would, yeah. you, would, you, would you be able to stop as in like pull the mouse off the edge of the screen right when it stops on like a character? Like imagine like a character is coming into view, right? Like this is the edge of the screen and it's being pushed. Would you be able to stop right here? That I you think probably that... overshoot it a little bit, maybe a little I, less. But that's the same on the keyboard. I I, I don't think so because the the, the moment Why you not? because the moment you you see them, the moment you see you can take your hand off the let go of the yeah. yeah you but like that's the same with the mouse. You can also let go, right? You, like, you, what... you could you could no. I, I I agree. I'm saying that like. From my perspective, it seems like it would be infinitely easier to let go of a button than it would be to have to pull your mouse off the side of the screen because of like the speed at which the thing will pan and like how fast your mouse is. Some people might like flick their mouse to the edge of the screen. I, I like watch people do this. This is this is the only reason I'm making this argument is because I watch people overshoot their camera too much or maybe undershoot it and then they have to keep pushing it, but they have to push it like you know how, like, when you push the screen, you have to like. I know, push I know what you're saying, but I, I, yeah, I know what you're saying, but I don't really see why that would be the case. Honestly, I, I think it's I, because I really think it's just the same. I think it's because you're highly proficient at it, and so you might not run into issues with uh, pushing the screen of the mouse. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're we're both talking as experts from our own cases, and mm -hmm. I, I I'm talking uh, in like I love to watch other people and see like any moment that they like uh you know overshoot undershoot this kind of stuff. But, okay, but, maybe, but maybe we can agree that like 
it would be equal as in like they're both doable Pushing. i think it would be equal however yeah i mean yeah it's yeah kind of something like okay that. let's let, let's just agree to that let's just agree that it would be equal assuming you're skilled at it in a, be, in a perfect world yeah, yeah there'd be no difference between someone pushing they would perfectly stop where they need to and someone using keeper perfectly stop yeah, but, right. yeah okay yeah. But, so, but that obviously won't happen all the time that, that obviously won't happen of course yeah. uh, but but my, my my point is it wasn't even about that it was about how regardless of pushing the mouse uh, sorry pushing the camera with the mouse or the keyboard you still have to do something in between using abilities whether it's pushing it with the ca uh, the keyboard or pushing with a mouse, and then you use your abilities. You're saying that your left hand is ready to use abilities, but it doesn't matter if your left hand is ready to use your abilities because you still have to push your, your camera with a mouse first, and then you have to aim. You know what I'm saying? So the difference is you have to readjust your mouse after pushing. Okay, I, 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 I know what you mean, and I mm -hmm. do think these are just really, really small differences. I agree. Like, okay. The differences here are very, very small. Definitely, like we can probably argue this for hours, and I don't think mm. you know this could go anywhere. Um, it's also very hard to demonstrate this without without proper tests and everything. But at the same time, what is easy to prove is that you also miss four keys of your keyboard, right? While having Q W right. uh, uh, I, I, or W S D. I, I don't think that I don't think that matters ultimately because um, in my right. video, I, I well, I mentioned. One through six are used for six items, right? I don't think many mm -hmm. people are going to use that many items. And you can also use like shift keys modifiers for items that you don't need to use in combat okay, necessarily. Wait, let me think about that. So, okay, you won't use this many items, yeah? You Well, my point is you probably won't, but even if you yeah, had to... I, no, you... I agree. But then then where do the numbers go on your keyboard? Like, where do the buttons go? Where do the, I mean, I just use five and six. I could, I also use shift one through four if I have to, if it's use like a five word. and six, but don't you think, okay, but that's not in a straight line, right? With your finger. kind no, of. No, 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 no. Five and six are, are very extreme. Cause like I have, I have a larger hand, so like I can manage it, but I can easily see how like, uh, for example, my girlfriend's hands, right? Like she always talks about like, oh, she doesn't want to like move that fast or like, it's like too far. Well, I think there are many mm -hmm. different buttons that you could end up using that you end up freeing up. By moving your Q W E R to one through four, if you just want to look at your keyboard, um, you could use like R T F G because Q E R on the summoners here, right? I, I just feel like there's so many buttons that you could use. X is default used as um attack. It's like an attack move click kind. C so is for like a lot runes. of the buttons here you're mentioning right now are useful for other cases. In my case, okay. So you mentioned T. That's my target champions only key. That's okay. very important for I, me. I, I you use mentioned Tilda. F. That's a default summoner spell location well well right? yeah we we remapped uh so so the buttons here okay, are what? a qe okay. qe for your summoners they're right next to your wsd um one so through qe for summoners qe for summoners and one two three four one two three four for the first abilities. pass yes and then items are fi five and six i use five and six slots i use five and six but honestly what okay, i would like, say i is... guess i would argue here is that five and six seems a little bit inefficient to me because they're a little I, I bit further away wait no i I, the I, of the I, layout. I completely and agree with you and then what would happen if there's a third item in League? Like, probably won't happen right now, but I know in earlier seasons of League, there, I had games where I had to use four to five active items in a champion. No, uh, okay. But, okay, maybe, maybe it won't happen right now, sure. No. Maybe, oh. Yeah, okay, it's whatever. <laughs> no, I agree with you that five and six are inefficient. I mm. use them because I'm familiar with them, and I don't feel like they're inefficient at all. I can move my hands like this, right? What I would recommend to anyone else if they're thinking five and six too far, well, you have R, T, F... And like I said, Z for chat, that's not useful for like 99% of people. Chat for me is only useful for people who are going to track timers and like summoners. Yeah, or like, that, that or like my the, argument, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, I mean, if you want to check chat, you can also press enter and scroll up if you need to, if you're like in the middle of the That's I mean, that's, way that's, that's it's, it's way, I agree. I agree, I agree. Yeah. I'm just saying that there are alternatives to that. Or you could just bind Z to, I don't know, like shift Z or something. You know what I mean? Like you can use modifiers. Shift well. I use to... Um, I would argue shift, like what I have for shift is very useful, which is basically I hold shift and then a spell is not no longer quick cast, it's a normal cast. So you can, certain champions that is very useful on. I mean, I, I, I agree with that, but you would only have to use shift with four other buttons. I mean, you have shift, QWR, ASDF, you know, one, three, three, four, right? Like you have, you have almost, let's say 13, 14 buttons that you can use shift on if you want to rebind chat, which is a button that you probably won't use almost ever if you're a noob and then as a pro player you would use every now and then to check like summoners right like if someone's time at like 550 jungle or something 
do you, do you get what yeah. I'm saying? So like I think I so my point is like a shift for chat or like these extraneous keys, like I don't think that would be too inefficient. Given yeah, that you you're can not probably find the button somewhere. I don't disagree. Right. So 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 this whole bottom row here, other than like V for like back ping, which you could just use G for like G and then flick up retreat, right? You can say that. I mean, um, I, I, I use three buttons for pings because... I, I um, do too. I use G, V, H, like warded. Because it is I think it's important to separate certain pings, like a normal ping and a retreat ping. I think it's important to separate them. Well, well, I mean, I agree with you. That's why I use V as a, as a back ping. I'm saying that there's an alternative and you can also rebind V to maybe something uh, closer if you need to, or maybe you just don't have to rebind anything to V and leave it as retreat ping. Either way, you okay. have ZXT, right? Okay, so let me ask you this. Where does the stop key go in this case? Personally, I use F. I use F. It's just, I spam that yeah. a ton. I spam that a ton. It's the equivalent of clicking on your character. It's a really useful button. That's why I have it right there. And then I have attack, wow. move, click on spacebar. Okay. My thumb is free to just attack, move, click. Wait, so you don't have a key to center your camera? This might surprise you, but I use Y. I double tap Y. I'm a psycho. I don't recommend that. Wow. I, 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 can, I can reach there and I do that often. I think, like, it's really uh, shocking I'm not, to me. I'm, that I'm not saying that anyone. Bar as a locked key, you know? No, no, of course. Cause, cause Cause I, it's like I, the biggest key and it's like the easiest to press. I, blah, I, blah, blah. I yeah, I know. Exactly. That's why I use it for attack move click, which makes it very easy for me to do whatever I need to do. Um, obviously champion dependent, um, but I don't need to lock screen that often. I, I almost never lock screen. Uh, I use it to recenter camera and it's just how I played, um, but it's not you efficient. You don't use lock screen too often. Huh. Almost ever. I don't have to. Because I feel like locking your screen is so, so, so important. But I'm trying to like imagine think. how you would play. Um, so, so could I we... know you keep the cursor right. in the middle a lot, but... Could we imagine a case where... What if I'm tracking my character with my W? Oh my god, no, wait, wait, I have a perfect question. Okay. What would happen if you were to play Yasuo? I could play Yasuo, I could try. I, I, they wanted me to play Zeri earlier. What would happen if you, like, imagine a scenario you would have to perfectly dash through minions um, in, I, like, a team fight, right? Because most yeah. Yasuo players in that case will always lock their camera. Yeah, I would, um, in between my dash, because the dash takes, like, I don't know, let's say, like, Less than half yeah, a second. Uh, That's like so, what at least no, three hundred. Uh, the dash cooldown on rank five of Yasuo is point one. I know, but, but I, I'm talking yeah. about like the dash duration. During that duration, I mean, he dashes quite a distance, right? Uh, I could probably just slide my hand and push my camera if I need to, and then bring it right back up. Really, I kind of yeah. love that, honestly. You <laughs> you doubt that? I don't I play Yasuo, but I'm I'm down to try. Oh, so that that would be that would be amazing you, to see. You, I would I really mean, love to see. It. Well. Uh, how about this? I mean, they, they asked me to play Zeri, and they're like, what do you do when you play Zeri? I'm like, well, I just, I mean, I'm spamming one the whole time, right? Just spam one and then push the camera, I suppose. Just move it down quickly. Um, yeah, because... okay, but, well, okay, okay. Yeah, no, I agree with that, but, what, okay, so if you're just spamming one and pushing the camera down, what happens when you have to, like, press E, like, okay, her E, and then her, like, W, and then ult at the same time, and maybe you have to go slash at the same time? Like, you know what I mean? What, what happens if okay. there's, there's a fight where you have to just uh, press everything at the same time? Let me imagine that. Okay, so I, I, I'm jumping over a wall. Wait, why would I, where would I go to flash? I'm, I'm, I'm jumping over a wall and ulting, right? So and you maybe have to flash like skill shot, like fast reaction okay, okay. time, maybe a ulting yeah. you. I don't know. Okay, uh, I have three, four, I'm ulting over the wall. I pop my ghost, so I hit my Q quickly, and then I have my ring finger ready to shoot with one again. And then my pointer, uh, my pointer middle finger, WD, I can, if, if I need to, I can push my camera like that. Um, and then my pointer finger is ready on E, my ring finger is ready on one after I use ghost on Q. Um, I don't, I don't, I, the only champion here, I'll tell you this, the only champion I've ever had an issue with is literally Vladimir. Uh, that's because Why? I did, I, uh, because I have to hold down three and my like, fuck, I need my other buttons. Um, oh. but I, but I realized you can, uh, you can normal cast Vladimir's E, you can press the button. So three in this case, and then it would charge it up. So I, I didn't realize then you have that... to press E again to deploy it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's way better for me. I just press it again. Wow, yeah. that uh, sounds so complicated in my head. Honestly, like it feels it, like it... you're making the game so hard. Um, it, maybe initially when I was 13, but I got used to it. Uh, but back to the original point about the four keys uh being taken on the keyboard, I I still don't agree that it takes up 
uh, too many keys such that it'd be inefficient. I feel like there's so many keys for you to one through four for your abilities, QE for your summoners, R, T, F, Z, X, C, all available for your summoner. I uh, sorry, not summoners, uh, your abilities or stop or uh, attack move. Um, maybe maybe even like Tilda, you could rebind uh, ta uh, target champions only from Tilda to, I don't know, Z or something, right? And there's some shift modifiers for like shit that you won't use too often. I get your point. I don't know, man. I, I just have a really hard time. Like, I'm trying to like imagine how you, like how like someone would play like super, like trying to play it super, super efficient on like a very mechanical demand and champion. And I feel like you're always just a disadvantage uh, with that setup, but that's really hard. Like, it's really hard to go into these details. I mean, I can appreciate that you're actually thinking about like what it would be like to play for other people, but I, I genuinely think that by saying that you're at like, a okay, disadvantage. I, I definitely like to, to, to just to make it clear, like, yeah, you can you can, definitely like players can get challenger with that setup. Like, I, like people can get challenger at like two hundred ping or something, right? Like this, this, this. Yeah, is anyone like, can get challenger. Yeah. But I, I'm 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 thinking about it as perspective. Of what's easier, maybe, and what's also, um, what's like way more efficient, or like what's maybe like zero point one percent more efficient at like the top 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 level. Mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that one, um, that one I don't have a good argument for because we've never run the experiment. We've never seen any data on that. Um, that is true. That's you, because almost no pro player uses this, right? right? But but um, you, you you did mention in your video, if I could go really quickly. Um, yeah, sure. You you mentioned sure, that sure. pros optimize. Uh, you you're yeah. trying to you're trying to make a counter argument against what I said about like a uh, pros the, not a good argument. And you mentioned that like pros actually do optimize. But I noticed that you didn't actually make a point beyond pointing out that uh, or making an observation that pros do actually like um, use like Valorant pros for example, or like the yeah. keyboard example, or Dopa yeah. pushing the. I think there's a difference yeah. between physical dimensions and proximity of like your monitor compared to like uh, and like the make and model of the keyboard versus like the keybind setup. Would we agree that there's like, a difference? I, I don't know if I agree, right? Right. I was thinking about this, but I feel like I would categorize, like put it in the same category, honestly. It's about their setup and their settings. I okay. feel like this, like for me, this is kind of the same category. Okay. So, um, for example, I can give you an example, okay? Okay. Um, I played with Reckless, right, uh, yeah. in Fnatic in 2019 and 2020. Yeah. Um, he would he would very often, throughout a lot of months, change a lot of his settings in the game. Okay. Uh, uh, that's just one example. Obviously, like maybe it's like one example. Blah blah blah. But like uh, what I was trying to say is like that. Like my experience with working with pro players, talking to them, like because I I talk to a lot of challenger high level yeah. players. Over many many years, my exa my experience of like watching how other people do it in other regions and stuff, because I'm very familiar with like Chinese pro views, Korean pro views, blah blah blah. Like the, obviously not everyone hyper focuses on this, but I definitely think there is a small percentage of players who do care about that. Um, another another thing that I thought about, right? Like obviously this is just like a my 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 thoughts, right? Is that the reason why you're using this is because of Starcraft, right? No. No? no. Oh, I thought I thought it's because of StarCraft. No, in StarCraft I push with the uh the camera and I bind locations with like um their default like control F like 10, 12, stuff like that. You Wait, can bind so why, locations. Why are you that. using WSD then? Is it from another game or uh because I'm playing like a hero battler, right? Where I need to like move just one character and then I can just focus on that one character. In in, in StarCraft I have to move like multiple different unit groups. Or like go to like buildings or something. Mm -hmm. This is like a different demand, I suppose. Uh, but but like talk. It was there was there. All right, never mind then. Okay, then I'm not gonna like say what I was thinking because yeah. I, I thought this was coming from Starcraft and I had like a yeah whatever it doesn't matter. No yeah, matter. I'll, I'll I'll fit it to the game. Um, just like Fortnite, right? Fortnite, you need to have good binds for the buildings. But like, yeah, this is this is what I meant though. Uh, the thing you said earlier, I feel like that was just that's just an observation that you're just saying that like uh some pros care and then you put yeah. you put like key binds you know the monitor space or where the keyboard is what kind of keyboard yeah. you put that in the same category yeah. right yeah okay so so some some pros might care about within the category of like optimization some pros yeah. might care about keyboards some pros might not care about it might care about the mouse more how how does that have anything to do with one particular thing i i, I personally think 
if a pro player cares about one thing, he's going to care about everything. Okay, even given that assumption that they care about everything, given that they because they care about one, um, mm -hmm. we clearly see that people didn't even if they cared about the like the WSD, they didn't care enough to try it, which is my point where we don't have. Okay, the, but we, we don't have data, data on that. They 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 could have tried it, right? Wait, and wait, exactly. Maybe it was many years ago. Like it's not like pro players share their exact uh, thought processes about all any of this. Like if you actually go on YouTube you. and you write like you know league pro player settings, the only <laughs> yeah, yeah, there wouldn't come be. up is mine actually, unironically. Right. Yeah. As far as I know, no one else has. It's it's like just that. us two. Just talking about vision. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I agree. Or, or Wait, maybe just like our other creator, whatever. That's, like that's, ex you know? that's exactly my point. Neither of us can use pros as a as an argument because I can't prove that they haven't used it and you can't prove that they have, right? I'm saying that like when you bring up pros, all it does, and like I know I know, I know, know you think differently about this and I know you sure, understand. Sure, sure, sure. But okay, but, Could I just... but okay, here, I ha okay, I have a question though. Um, do you think they need to try it? Or do you think thinking about it is already enough? I think they need because to try it. Really? I think they would have to give it I at don't least agree with a that. Month. I don't agree with that. Like, for example, I don't even know what example I would give, but like, I don't try everything in life knowing that, like, personally, me just thinking, like, like I will not okay. try everything in my life. You know? Okay, if I had to be super charitable to you, I agree mm -hmm. that there are some things that you don't actually have to think about, or sorry, you don't actually have to try to know that it might not be good. I'll for, give you a great example. Uh, I'll turn on the stove. You want to put your hand on the stove? Test if it's hot. Probably don't fucking yeah, sure. do that because I mean, it's going to be hot, yeah. right? That's I mean, an obvious thing. Not. That's an obvious thing. But I, I don't think when it comes to like the difference in efficiency and how you play based on your keybind setup is something you can just kind of think about and then know. My point is you can think about it, I think you but can. I don't think you can have, but I don't think you can have an accurate enough understanding just by thinking about it to say the things that you might have said or maybe other people might have said to definitively say that it is dog shit is, is to me that's like a, i'm not saying that you're saying i'm saying like other people might be saying this this is why i didn't really enjoy the pro argument so much because you understand that like yeah pros might not have tried blah blah blah. but i think your audience probably didn't realize when you were saying no pro uses this you, you were probably just saying that like i feel like pros because they optimize if they don't do this it might not be so good that might be like a, a better version of what you said but they the audience probably hears Oh, this is terrible then, because no pro uses it. You know what I mean? That's why I had a, such an issue with the pro. I mean, I, I, I like I would never recommend anyone to use this. Honestly, like I really would not. I, okay, I, I I understand that, but I'm talking about the pro argument in particular. How I, I don't okay. think that's I don't think that's a persuasive argument at all. Uh, because again, no, I, I already said it. It wasn't right. supposed okay. to be my main argument. No, I I don't even think it should be a supporting argument though. I don't think it proves anything if we don't have someone available to show us that they try. I mean, to end their I approach. think it can be because we also have like like Stixer, right? He's a pro player. He's an example. Well, yeah, we could use him both ways. I could say, hey, look, there's one guy, and and he did he did okay, or like. Yeah, but I, I okay, but now I'm gonna counter argue like he's not. In my opinion, a top tier professional player. Well, I, I'm awesome. not. I'm not arguing. I'm saying that I could argue that, and then we would almost get nowhere. It would be a matter of opinion, and not necessarily like ten pros trying it out. Well, I, compared okay, to... sure, but I think it like currently it is just a matter of opinion, mostly, right? Right, but I, I think the difference is I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that like QWER is like the worst or like inefficient. I'm saying that there's an alternative view to this. There's there's something that you could try. While you're saying no, that this I, is the okay, only one. I agree with that. I, okay, so I agree with what you said. However, let me uh, elaborate. When I was watching the video first time, I, I okay, I had no clue what I was getting into, right? right. I literally never even opened the video of, my, of you in my entire life, like literally. Okay. Like, but the way I was watching the video, because because I, I I have no clue, right? Mm. So the way I was watching the video, the feeling I was getting is that um, you were like unfair to. Oh, I was the, presenting it as like strictly better than yeah, QWR. Like the yeah. argument, like some of the arguments you were trying to make in the video, like were completely, totally biased. Maybe like I, like the the examples weren't fair. Maybe the, the, I should say it like that, right? <laughs> Which is like, what, I feel like if yeah, if, no, if I, you, I get if that. If the examples were more fair, I would probably not say anything, honestly. Which is funny because um, I think we would both agree that like if I had to be perfectly fair to all sides, it would probably be like an hour long video. 
of going through almost every single case. Of I, I don't think so, honestly. I don't think so. Okay, then it's a matter of just me not being a good enough content creator to condense something as... No, I, it's not about not being good enough content Well, no, that, that, that's, what we're, that's what we're saying, though, right? Where you're saying, like, I needed to be more accurate or fair to something and present myself as less biased. In order to do that, I would have to spend more time explaining certain things, right? Which might yeah, even but, yeah, make me come off as more biased. When you say you're not good enough of a content creator, that kind of, like, to me means that, like... No, 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 like I don't, I don't mind saying do that. It. I, I think you can do it. No, no, no. I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind saying that because my, my point is, it's like, yeah, maybe it was the case that like I, I had the opportunity to do that, but maybe I just like didn't, or maybe I couldn't. I, I don't really care about that. I mean, I can acknowledge that. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying that like I think we both agree that in the context of like YouTube making a video for as many people as possible, we can clearly see why I made like the stylistic choice of just going like, fuck it, we're just gonna do jokes, and I'm just gonna try to throw this out there. And then ultimately, I did say, right? I did say, like, preference is king. Even, like, the pin comment in response to everyone saying, like, oh, it's not working for me. It's too t difficult. I said, like, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, you, you said something about preferences. I agree. But, like, for example, the you know, the example in the video where you said something like skill issue, right? Like, that to me yeah. felt very unfair when I was watching. Well, I, I, I know. So, <laughs> I hope you can see this now. But uh, the, the whole point was I could do the red text, which is priming your brain for, like, this is bad. This is bad. And the green text for good things. And I was going to, the whole point was for the two things, the lock screen and, and pushing a camera, I'd have like one tiny green thing and huge red things, right? For both of them. And then for the WSD, I know this will come off as biased because it is. I put very big green things and then one red thing that says, yeah. it, was, it was a joke. Yeah. I, I know it okay. might not be funny okay. Okay. to some. No, no, no. It's not about not being funny or being funny or what. I, me as a first time viewer to me it didn't recognize as a joke at all okay you understand? like when i was watching that, i was taking the videos like seriously besides when the jokes were super obvious and no, that's that, that's fine uh, uh i mean other people i was more uh, caring about hey what if someone else watches this and let's say they're noobs and they, they don't know what they're doing how they're how are they gonna feel about this and well, when you make like a case of like hey this is shit and the other one this is better right as you're saying no you're i, I understand joke, that I, I feel like just as much as a uh, the way it made me think, it might as well. It, I think it 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 can easily make them think the same way. But but let's take a look at that. Actually, that's a great point. Um, okay. Throughout the course of this conversation, or even thinking about it, you can acknowledge that certain things about WSD could be good, or like you can you can see like the downsides. You're thinking about it, right? Why can't mm -hmm. why can't a newer player do the same thing? Why do we treat the newer player? Because or I think because we're ha we're having a very in depth conversation now, and we both I know perfect. Are very, so we can, we, um, can we we are both very knowledgeable on this subject. Uh, a new uh, like not necessarily a new, but like a bronze player. I don't think they put as much time. I don't think they understand the subject to the same scale as we do. Wait, I agree. I don't... I, I, exactly. That that's why something like this conversation would be really helpful. Or that's why, for example, that bronze player that you're talking about could maybe ask additional questions if they're confused or maybe they don't understand something fully instead of assuming that the new player or the new viewer would just Okay, take... okay, okay, okay. But but okay. <laughs> How many people on internet when they watch a video they go to the comment section ask a question? I don't think well, like 99% of people will not do that. Well, the fault is on them that, then. And... The, the the fault is on them then if they want to take certain parts of my, my video and then like yeah, not fully understand it. Yeah, okay, I agree. Then... Ultimately, the fault is probably on them. On them. But no, yeah. that, that that applies to probably like almost everything in the world, right? Yeah. But I look at it the other way, which is like, yeah, people are dumb, but it it is our we have to have a certain standard as content creators to not to to try to give a, as like accurate information out that... there to not try to. You know, you know, like that. That is how I feel about it. You know, I I, I understand. Like, I, mean, I understand that. So then we'll go right back to the other point about how, like, if I had to be perfectly fair to every one of these things, I would have to sacrifice a lot of like the uh, the optimization for a YouTube video, right? I don't think I was oh, necessarily no, okay. Okay, I really, I really don't think, like, I really don't think we see the same point because I f I feel like if you just change the wording on some things okay. a little bit different or you know, wouldn't show an example of skill issue and it just wrote a little bit like different Yeah, okay, I, okay, I can but agree with that. I, I think I didn't it, have to it do would come out better and I, I don't think the video would need an hour long. I think the video would be pretty much exactly same length. Okay, and, and I, I just... Th this is, this right. is what my point was. I just assume that you're talking about like, talking about all three of them. You're just talking about like skill issue. You didn't like skill issue. For example, Because yeah. it was it was just, it was laconic. It was just like two words. It didn't really, really explain the downsides. 
Yeah. But then what did I do afterwards, right? Because I, I literally went to explain, like, here's how to remedy some of the issues, like having to push the camera at the same time. And like one of the downsides is that like, yeah, you, you, you have to do this regardless, pushing well, camera. Okay, okay to, to give you like, I would have to probably like now rewatch the video and write down exact same, like um, think about exact everything that you worded and then like probably write you like a script that maybe would look a bit different, okay. right? Like I don't- really I mean, if you, if you care to, could you help me out then? Because then, you know, if you think that my video is misinformation, could you just write really quickly some of the downsides of WASD? that you might want to address. And then I could just put that there in the pinned comment. Like, wait, you, uh, I mean, for me, the downside, for example, is right, that uh, you're missing four keys. That was like never really mentioned in the video, right? Okay, I probably but, mentioned that. But, but earlier, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, but earlier you mentioned um, when we were talking about the WSD, and then I mentioned the, like, the freeing up of RT, F, C, X, C. I think we both agreed that, you know, those are enough buttons to map onto other things, right? You definitely have enough buttons. However, I still think it is a slight disadvantage because you are destroying the center of your keyboard layout when you're um, having the. Could you explain the center hand. of the the keyboard layout to me? This, this this idea here. Well, the idea is that the keys are as close as possible to each other, and you have like a center of of them, right? Yeah, when you're playing yeah. the game, which is like what a normal setup is when you play League. So your fingers, so your hand can stay in the same position. Your fingers just do a quick movement. Yeah, they are. Right? I mean, I mean, if your if your if your fingers are. I mean, no, for example, five and six, I think is already like kind of. I, well, I already already I already mentioned catch. that. Like, yeah, yeah, like that's too far. But like, yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm not using my. Agree. So so here here's my question: If your QWER, okay. um, ZXCV is like two rows down. That's like pretty far, actually. Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't QWER be a, the same? disadvantage of having like uh, like having QWER be the center of your keyboard or where your fingers are be the same disadvantage as ASD being like the resting spot for like your your ring and your pointer finger that kind of area it's either way there are four rows you got to choose row two or row three to center on I in my case I'm just centering on row three AD and then I guess my middle fingers on W so I'm kind of like in the, in the middle and then you're using QWER you have to come all the way down to ZXCV if you want to use the buttons uh yeah but only two finger like two fingers are enough to cover that when two two of your fingers are already on the low side right because one is resting on shift and one is resting on space you use pinky for z and and space uh you use, oh, you use i use pinky for shift yeah no no i'm talking about zxcv right you'd have to you you would necessarily have to move one of your three like middle fingers right like your ring finger middle finger pointer finger down to zxcv unless you're saying you're using uh, pinky there's multiple finger. ways to do it honestly you, you can you use you're using a lot your... of fingers here Huh? Are, are, well, uh, I, I'm questioning whether or not you're using your pinky and thumb, taking enough space to use ZXCV, or are you using one of your, like, the middle three? Well, V and, and space is basically the same, right? Yeah, you could do that. You could definitely use V. Yeah, it, with, that with doesn't make but any difference because ZXC? space... Z, X, and B? Z, X, C. Oh, Z, X, C. Yeah, what would you, um, would you use? I think C is taken by sp space. Um, you have to curve your thumb like, I'm trying to think. I think do you do that. X, I usually do uh, curve my thumb. Uh -huh. Yeah, my thumb oh, is like okay. this. I think. Okay. It's kind of like this. I think. Do, do you do you, do you think that's an efficient movement to have to like hook your thumb there? Because like I feel like I guess not, if not to me, no. Not to you, but do you think like think about for the average person? I think that's a little bit of a weird. C is sorry. C is a bit of a stretch. I think I can see V comfortably. Obviously, it depends on the make and model of your keyboard and then your hand size. But... I, I I don't know. I would have to ask other people, but to me, like to me, it's comfortable. You know, I, I, it's hard to say. Right. So about the, about C and B. So this is my right? problem, right? Like I, I feel like a lot of the times we're arguing from uh, our own perspectives, while I'm trying to think about like objectively speaking, if you had to do a movement, regardless of who you are, unless you have like crazy weird fingers or something, um, Q W E coming down to Z X C somehow quickly. Um, that still runs into the same issue of like the center of keyboard layout thing. I think regardless, we should just acknowledge that our hands, either setup, WSD or QWR, we're, we're kind of in the center, right? If anything, I'm more in the center here with my middle finger ready to do anything up there if I need to really quickly, while my uh, pointer and my ring finger are down here, AD. If I need to come down to X or C or B, or whatever. Um, like I'm trying to think because it's kind of hard to imagine. Uh, 
Um, oh yeah. Also, if this is taking too long, and if you want to like head off to sleep or something, you can let me know. Like, I I don't I don't mean to like take. No, I, I'm just trying to like imagine how you like your setup, right? Because I'm very familiar with mine. You want to um, try it? I could play QWR. I could try your thing, right? I did that when I was twelve or so, thirteen, thirteen. Yeah. I think it would take me a very long time. Probably, and it, and it wouldn't give you as many returns. I, I agree. A lot of people make this and argument. Like, probably it's not something that like I prefer at the end of the day. You know. I know, but it, it's more like it's a, a big thing about preference as well. Yeah, but it's 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 about being open minded, I suppose, right? Because no, I I am open minded. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are, and when they yeah. try it and. This is the thing, uh, uh, one thing that I wanted to address, how you said, like, the new player, misinformation, that kind of stuff. I'm like, well, I feel like we're treating them like they're like a kid that can't think for themselves. A lot of people can try their binds, and then if they don't like it, if it doesn't work for them, it clearly doesn't work for them, they can just change them back. I, I, I thought it was a, a fantastic point uh, that, that other people were making, not just you, about how it's misinformation and it could hurt people. I'm like, how? I'm not really forcing anyone at gunpoint to use my binds. I'm sure any cognizant human being can sit there, try it, and be like, this shit's not for me, and just change it back. And then it wouldn't hurt them. Maybe they'll lose, like, a couple games for a week. And there's no way someone's arguing that a couple of, like, normal games or practice tool is like, worth enough. They can go fuck right off, right? Like, man, I would agree with you, but I've seen some real stupid people. I, I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't think we should cater to the real stupid people, and ultimately the onus would be on them, right? Especially when I'm... I feel like I did a I good mean, job. At the of end of the day, how... the onus is always on them, right? The o it, it always. Will I know, be, I know right? but there's also responsibility for me. I know you're going to say this, which is why I feel like all the additional caveats that I add in, while also trying to make sure that it's like a sensational video, and it fucking was, right? Like, I, I can do a good enough job, maybe not a perfect job, a good enough job, and it, it accounts for like most people. Maybe not like the super stupid people, but I feel like I feel like that's fine. Especially because I always tell people, dude, it's ultimately up to you, your preference. Think for yourself, right? I would say we probably just have a different perspective. Of like what I should have done with the video? W wasn't it just the skill issue thing that you had? It's not, it's, no, it's, I think we just have like a different perspective on maybe how we view people and how the content maybe should look like. And... So, like some, some, something in between there, you know? Uh, okay, that, that's totally fine. I, I mean, I can appreciate that we have di different perspectives, but I think, I think there's an, I mean, the, the only time there's an issue, or, and the reason why I had an issue with this is when you, when you label it as, as dog shit or maybe bad or wrong, especially if you don't give any uh, additional reasons as to why, and, and you've given okay, plenty okay, okay. today, yeah, which is great. Uh, sure, sure. I'll also clarify some things, right? It happens quite a lot of times that like you're shimming for many, many, many hours and then, yeah. you know, you probably know this as a shimmer yourself, but you can have language that you otherwise probably wouldn't be using. This happens to like a lot of shimmers, and this is not an excuse in any way. Um, and the second thing is, I actually went over a lot of the reasons and, mm. and explanations, so, as far as I remember, after the, the recording was done, but I didn't... Oh, okay. okay. But, uh, yeah, which, that's, is I guess also, that's... I, which is also my fault, right? At the end of the day. This is also not an excuse. Mm. Um, I appreciate that. Because I, I was I, I was actually thinking about this. So when I was uploading the video right to to YouTube, um, the, the, I was really debating whether I should um, upload it or not because I know I was using very offense like um, like harsh wording. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, I was really thinking, like, hmm, but maybe it's good to upload because I really don't think it, it's smart to for people to like to 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 to, to like because I, I really don't think WSD is like. The way to play league. That's what that's one thing I was thinking of, and then another thing I was thinking of is like I was even I was actually even thinking of like hmm, maybe I should just give like re-record the video and then like give my natural reaction with more reasonings. And I was thinking like, oh, what's the point of that? Like, you know, why would I re-record a video? Maybe I should, like that just kind of defeats the purpose of a, a normal reaction when you first time see a video. You know that that that's the thing I was thinking of. Okay, so. You're saying that you ended up uploading something that wasn't perfectly accurate to your thoughts and might not have been too fair to the content. Well, okay, okay. Was... To be to be fair to you, most videos that I upload, or actually any YouTube person that does reactions, they they will not be perfectly aligned with your thoughts or or whatever you want. Wait, this is the, the point of first time reactions, right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. 
exactly. So it was maybe a bit more of a biased perspective than you wanted to upload, right? Oh, I mean, what I'm saying is like, if I have to elaborate everything and have a more neutral stance, the video would definitely look different, you know? It, w it would, right. I know, I, I'd agree. It would look different. I mean, I would have loved would to... Uh... I would still have some criticisms about the video, 100%, yeah. but it would look way different, yeah. So what is the difference between the video that you made with like the kind of first time reaction and stuff and my video when it comes to bias? When it comes to bias? Yeah, because you, 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 I love that you said this actually, you... you the difference um, is one of them is being reacted first time on stream, IMO, the right. other one has hours of preparation. Right, exactly, preparation, it, 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 it takes... Uh, and I think, I think the, the main point of the video to me at least, it's not about like me having harsh wording or something. To me, it's just like about, you know, uh, the things I disagree with. Well, I, I know, the... but here, 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 here's my point. The difference between okay. the two is I took a really long time to think about the, you know, the things and do the research that I wanted to, to make my video. And then you didn't, but either way we were ultimately, ultimately we still come off with some biases or maybe some problems with what we said, regardless of like me putting in, you know, a lot of hours and you reacting first time do we do we agree that like no matter what you do with a video whether it's a first time reaction on stream or a video that you you know cater the content towards and like you, that edit, you can make mistakes or that, yes yeah that that, oh, that, no, there, that there, that there can be fact. things that can be pointed at that might be like wrong or biased or short-sighted or maybe like needs expansion that kind of stuff no i mean i think that's really natural right Ex like yeah, every no, human that, makes that's my point. Uh, 100 mistakes per day when i play league uh, in a ranked game i'm gonna make a thousand mistakes uh, per day. i know that's my point um, that's my point though yeah right no that, that, i agree with that's, you. that's exactly my point where it's like to, to nitpick a lot of these sort of things um as, instead of trying to like have a, a proper conversation i'm not going to fault you for this i'm not faulting you for this no, this is i just want to lead really quickly my only point in saying this is so that the people watching you because i don't have an issue with you now right i really appreciate the thoughts that you've given me here right and like i can accept that we have different perspectives the the problem is your, your viewers the 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 language that you use that you understand that you can clarify that you can like readjust what you're saying Ultimately, what that did for your audience was it just it just like energized them to think the same way that you might, but without the additional clarifications that you made. Do you know what I mean? They come in here, they say some shit like delete this shit. This is misinformation. Well, we can both agree that like, okay, it might not be misinformation, definitely not on purpose, but it could just be clarified. Okay, sure, I can't I, like I can't control what other people you, you can't, do, right? You, you, you can't can. control that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to necessarily blame you entirely on that. A lot of the onus is on them. I, I'm just saying that like when you use objective language without clarification, it makes it come off as like, it is objective. I'll give you an example. When you say something is just wrong and you don't give a reason for that, there's a difference between saying something is wrong and here's why. And also I can see that perspective saying that sentence versus this is wrong, right? That's- I, I that's, honestly, okay, I have a different perspective here. I think- when you're reacting on Twitch and you say something like is wrong and you don't give a reason for that, I think that's fine. But okay. if you upload it on YouTube and then you don't give a reason, that's not fine. So I think that's where I screwed up. I, I, okay. Um, you're saying that on the one hand, one thing is okay, but like the additional action makes it not okay. Right. I would, my perspective of that would be like, both are not okay. One is just worse. Saying it on Twitch and then putting it on YouTube, that's worse. Saying it on Twitch alone, I still think that's kind of bad just because like people might not understand what you mean they might not know why it's wrong they might hear you say and they look up to you right like they, they'll just be like oh i, I agree with you but I, I mean to, to my defense i did give uh some explanations as far as i can remember obviously i can go look at the bot but I, I did talk about the subject after yeah 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 okay i i think i think that's fair right so i i guess we would both agree on on your perspective about how like the the youtube part is probably what we should focus on that that one um I, w I would have loved to hear the reasonings in the, in the video. I think um, that makes more sense. No, I agree with you. Yeah, but, but also that video alone. Um, actually, what's funny is I noticed a lot of the people in the comments were calling out that like there weren't really explanations and they kind of wanted some explanations, but other people came to I, my I, video. Okay, I also do this sometimes intentionally, to be fair. No, not in this case, but for example, a lot of times it is, I think, a good thing to not give people the right straight away answer. So that they're interested and then creates more views, yeah. that kind of stuff. I right. think spoon feeding people information is not necessarily a good thing in every case. <laughs>
Oh, okay. You're talking about from an education perspective. Yeah. Like you want them to think yeah. for themselves. But didn't we just say earlier that people are really stupid? And what if they just like walk away with the wrong information, right? Like what if it were the case that WSD... I think majority are stupid, yeah. Okay, yeah. G given, given that, then why wouldn't we want to kind of spoon feed some people if they're going to be way too slow to come up with the answer themselves? Because, because, the, the, because it, it, just giving them a straight up answer doesn't mean they learn the formula. No, of course answer. not. Of course not. But you can teach them in a way where you can demonstrate your thinking, right? And maybe you can teach a stupid motherfucker how to think. Yeah, you can, but that's like a, that's like a different subject, I think, at that point. Well, why? I mean, I'm sure it's, it's a different subject, but uh, is it is it difficult to do? Like, oh, like, like I, I, I guess what I'm so, asking yeah. is like, no, why don't you? I would say yes, hundred percent. Right. So most people don't do that because it can take up hours and hours and hours. Hour... It's just not efficient, you know. Exactly. Right. So that I agree with you. Yes, it it does take a lot of hours to demonstrate the thinking behind certain things, which is why some videos like mine might not be those hours. No. Right okay, but, but we agree on that. The like, we we I think yeah. we pretty much agree on that. Yeah. yeah. We already Wait, like I... discussed this earlier. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's great. I'm 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 glad we can we can come to a an agreement on this that. Ultimately, my video, I feel like it gets a pass on demonstrating all the thinking and all the different details because it would take hours. Okay, no. To explain it in-depthly about every possible argument, yes. I, we agree on that. Right. But the point I was trying to make is that like certain things could be worded slightly differently, certain examples could be shown slightly differently, and I think that would make the video way better. Way better, okay. For someone... Okay. Okay. For okay. someone to that that watches with no context or maybe is clueless about the topic or something like that, basically. Right, but that, that but was the point I was trying to make. I, I, okay, I can take that, but I think that's that would strictly be your perspective because there there are numerous people in my comment sections that didn't have any qualms with that. Now, to be fair, maybe yes, they just didn't but I know think that. Most people that watch this are not educated about the topic. Okay. Okay, that uh, would be my counter argument here. So but, to me, it doesn't matter if they liked the video or disliked it. I know they they might have something lacking, something missing, right? That that allows them, or yeah. that, that doesn't allow them to understand it fully. I I understand that, but like, couldn't we say that about everything? Couldn't we say that about your video as well? Your video where you went into those things, they might hear you, they might not be educated, so they hear your opinion and then they form. No, an I, opinion I about agree. Yeah. No, I agree. But but to, to like the perspective I had is it's still better to to make my viewers. Uh, to to me, like the way I was the way I was thinking is like it's still better to make my viewers kind of like let them know that I really don't recommend them using WSD. I I, I know, but. Basically. But I'm trying to draw the comparison because I think we both run into the same issue where either we're both right or we're both wrong. I'm okay with either case here. Do you know what I mean? Like in, in making our videos, because if your viewers watch your video and they don't hear those explanations and they don't have the education to understand and like think about these things deeply beyond what you just said in those, those videos, they could walk away thinking that WSD is never proper and never try it. And therefore they might not ever, you know, do well with it. Because they just I, like what if what if, I mean I'll give you an example someone in my solo yeah, but that game, was my, that was my goal could, could I just could, uh, sure sure Keep going. but I don't think that's right so I'll just give you an example some people one person in my solo queue I shit you know this was awesome they told me they try my binds actually two people mental and QS shout out to them and they mm -hmm. actually improved their camera control they made some miss inputs but once they got used to that. They were just they just told me their camera control and their team fights were way better someone said team fights were less chaotic because they could focus more just to give you a couple examples i'm not saying that they're like that means that like everyone's going to benefit i'm saying that some people can benefit okay. therefore your video saying the things that you said in the way that you did with the education level of your fucking uh you know of, of like viewers like viewers in general dumbasses um, mm -hmm. those dumbasses could very well miss out on having an opportunity to have better camera control through my settings because if they just listen to you and they're fucking stupid, right? Like we agree. They might actually be hurt by your video just like how they might be hurt by my video. The difference is I bother to try to explain and ultimately say that things are preference. But you just said, absolutely don't do this. I agree with you. Um, so basically... In, in the case of the two weavers that you just mentioned, 
my my stance of point like my stance of view would be that if i were to go personally coach them or something like that i would make them better I, i'm i'm convinced i can make them better but like i i i, I i'm convinced i can like make them better yeah. at whatever they were using before than using blah 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 what they're using now but obviously that's like a different topic like there's no point discussing this I mean, that's like I, my stance sure i i think you can make it better but i'm not necessarily talking about who can make whatever better i'm talking about being open-minded enough to not shut something out if it's comfortable for them you can make them better at qwer mouse pushing i uh, yeah been, i mean that would, sure like, that, that could help them that could technically help them more right we'll, we'll say like no, no, i definitely understand the point you're making and you know but but to me comfort isn't enough i always uh, like for me i always try for the best possible result okay so are you saying that um qwer is absolutely optimal in league of legends yeah to, to me it yes. is yeah i think that is an infinite no, no, not, not qwer necessarily sorry that, that, that's okay. kind of like a trick question i i just meant the de no, no 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 i just meant I the default binds the default minds like no, the default structure sorry I, I don't I'm, use I'm the default minds um, perfectly uh sorry let me let me let me just rephrase this yeah i mean like pushing the camera with the mouse and then having the, the center would, keyboard layout qwr and like centering the way around. i would yeah the way i would form this is like i think the way the current top tier professional players in uh korea are playing is the most optimal way to play league to me yeah uh how do how, how do they play because I swear there's vast differences between windowed screen, Guma playing on 800, Faker playing on like 5,000. Yes. No, there is a difference. Yeah. I don't disagree. They're all not yeah. having the same exact key bindings and the same exact Yeah, so keys. I'm wondering what but the Korean... I think that the, 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 the difference is none of them uses um, key bindings to move their camera. They all oh, do with okay. the mouse okay. and lock screen so... or, or space bar, basically. The, none of them has... QW is like or any key binding to move the camera Art. besides arrow keys, which is a different topic, I think, than to um to the layout that you're right. using. I think that's a different thing. Um, yeah, they all use basically mouse or the only thing they use is like space bar for lock camera. Are you I think that is the most optimal way to play in league? Yeah. Are you saying that that is the most optimal way to play league because they're not using WSD in Korea? Shouldn't the argument be that that is the optimal because of its own merits and not because it is not something else? Um, I don't know if I understand. Um, okay. Are, are, are you saying that the, the, the binds that the Korean players use are good because they're just good and like they, they have good reasoning? Or are you saying mm -hmm. it's good because it's not WASD? Oh, no, I don't think it has anything to do with WSD. It could be like any other key on the keyboard. <laughs> right, right. So it, it... so your, your, your point is that because they're all using the same sort of setup, right? No work, it, like, it doesn't have to similar. be WSD. It doesn't have to be like T. Uh, yeah, similar. Um, yeah, similar. That makes it like the optimal because the, the, the Koreans, all the Koreans, like the pros and whatnot are using similar setups. Oh, it's not because exactly they do it. I just think for myself, since I play League on many different settings and my experience playing the game, I do think that is the most optimal way to play, yeah. I'm but, not sure if you're talking about the same thing, though. No, no, I, I understand. It's just, it's just, I feel like that argument is so hard to prove because they'll play on something similar. Let's, let's agree to this, okay? If you play QWER versus QERT, that would be an issue, right? Because you're skipping one button and you're not centering it fully. Yeah, probably. Probably. But what would your reasoning be to, to, to demonstrate that that's bad? I think, the, I think the keys are too far apart for no reason. Okay, so, so finger, like uh, your fin hand placement, basically, right? Like that's the important part and like proximity. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like we should be arguing about proximity and finger placement instead of what the actual buttons are. And in WASD, everything is within proximity. It's just a matter of moving your hand just ever so slightly. I think that, I think that WASD is a little bit of a different case, though. 
Okay, this is really hard to get into because mm -hmm. I would probably need to watch you play the game simultaneously while also seeing which buttons you're pressing to make like a mm -hmm. better counter argument here. Okay. Because I don't want to say something when I'm not totally sure the exact way you're playing. Well, that's that. Yeah, that's great. Not that you'd ever care and you don't have to take me up on this offer, but if you ever want to run that experiment, if you ever want to just watch me play like one game or something and then tell me what like you think, maybe I can put up the keys on the screen or I can send you like footage or something. Would you ever want to do something like that so that you can understand it better? Because this would make you foremost expert on WASD and mouse pushing. No one else would do that. I don't, I don't know if I'm the foremost expert on that, honestly. It, it would make you if someone who honest. clearly cares about it. because no I do care gonna, about it, yeah. but, but I think there's plenty of people in the scene that can probably do this way better than I Okay, because you recommend any of them to me. Like, who, like any names that I should reach out to. Reach out to? I, I don't know. I, like, I, don't, I, I don't think I want to recommend a name on my behalf right now, right? Because no, 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 no. I'm not asking you to like vouch for me. I'm asking you to tell me a name so I can go talk. No, to I'm not. I, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. That's, sorry. I'm no, I'm not uh, your whatever vouch. I know that's not a yeah. thing, but I'm saying that like, I don't want to give like a name necessarily because like, then I'm like connected to this argument or story. And then like, maybe the other person is going to like have the, <laughs> feel or the need to give you the reasoning some blah 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 like am i making sense um no i'm sorry i i, I don't quite understand are you saying you don't really want to be connected to this conversation any further no i don't know what the english word for this is um what's your native language we could we could translate if that would help i don't mean to be condescending i just i just want you to be able to communicate my native language is slovenian you will not find a single translator for that in the world <laughs> okay um <laughs> I, I mean like google um, translate or something i'm not sure if no that that would be terrible okay. trust me it's not accurate <laughs> at all um wsd let me think about that and i'll give you an answer later honestly okay. i think i need to think about it more okay but I mean, again, would you be, would you be willing to like watch just to see like like you want to see my hands or you want to see the inputs? I would or say both. both. I would need both? to see. Yeah, I, I, I would say both. Yeah. And would you want a top down view like this or maybe from the side? Top down view probably better. Just to see probably the exact side input. is better because I then you can accurately more see which keys you're pressing. I would say top down view might not. Uh, show I might, that. I, I might I obscure it. Yeah, I might obscure it with the bottom of my or the the palm. I guess I can. Uh, yeah. I think there's an angle for this for sure. Okay. Yeah. So just just to clarify, I think ultimately we do have. A lot of things in agreement and some things are just like a perspective on like how to make something or how to word something right yeah yeah so, something like that would be the tldr right and then ultimately um not that this matters too much because i've been doing this for a long time but like jesus like the the some of the viewers like i i make sure and it's not necessarily a responsibility all the time but i make sure to tell my viewers um well, everything fully, and then also make sure that they don't go out of their way to like say something stupid. Um, but on the other hand, there's some people that come over to me, and I wow, this is crazy. Um, they're just saying shit like delete this or like this is dog shit. They're just repeating the same things that you said without the understanding okay. that you have. That you know. so in the future, I I would just hope that if you're ever doing things with like my videos or whatever, not that you'd watch them, just like let them know like yo. Think for yourself. At the very least, you know what I mean. Like, don't you? You, you, you got to let them know to think. Yeah, okay, I think that's yeah. kind of like a that's kind of like a that too much optimistic. Oh, okay. Ask Optim for okay. any streamer out there. Now you can go look at an example of XQC, for example, who has a audience of two hundred x my audience, and see how many times he tells his viewers, "It doesn't oh, solve guys, it. Don't do it. It doesn't solve it. And, I know it doesn't solve uh, it. In fact." Mentioning something like that can actually have the opposite effect, which is on. they are more even more inclined to do something. I else. agree that it doesn't solve it. Nothing's going to solve internet trolls or stupidity. My point is, it makes for a better conversation for the people who actually want to engage. The idiots, the dumbasses, right? They can fuck off. 
I don't want to care about them. But the people on the edge cases, the people that might like be somewhat cognizant, somewhat there, you know, it could be maybe convinced like, oh shit, yeah, actually, maybe I'm going too far. Wouldn't we want to deal with those? That's kind of a hard topic to say because I think... Um... I'm not going to say that they're a huge portion. I'm just saying like even changing one person's perspective yeah, but, make a big but, difference. But I think all of these could be argued because you're saying it can be a nicer topic, but honestly, like... It can be done achieve... better, not a nicer topic. No, it depends what you value. If someone values maybe more views or something like that, then they're they're not their primary um how do you say it like they're not going to then they might benefit more from a different method as in like a different take on it or like a no completely like the, different... the way they the way they let's say react a video right? yeah that's what i mean like a different kind of take Maybe. or a different kind of approach yeah yeah like so, i think so, this is a completely yeah so topic. so you you ben i mean you probably benefited from you know, being harsh and whatnot and like putting out that kind of like very punchy video. Um, got a I lot don't of... know. Honestly, I don't know. But but like I said in, in my response, you know, it sacrifices. Like, I, I'm just saying like, I try to keep a balance of it where it's like, yeah, I need, to, I need to do X amount of clickbait. But like, I still try to caveat things. I still try to like... Yeah, but that, that's ultimately a total preference to creator, right? They have the option okay. to do whatever they want. I, I don't think... But it, it sounded like you didn't prefer coming off like that you prefer to actually like teach people because that's i feel like that was the whole I, point i think it depends honestly you, you, well i mean i, I would you, say it's context dependent because because i mean i assume that you cared about whether or not it was accurate information and therefore if you care about accurate information you would probably want to word it in a non-sensational sort of a way where you're just explaining why it's like not accurate or my video is bad not like necessarily i think i think a lot of times no, I wouldn't say so. I think a lot of times wording something harshly can also be a good thing. I mean, I would agree with you that sometimes being harsh demands it, but like, I think we can clearly see how some of the people that listen to you, that listen to your harsh language, took it too far and didn't even try to understand WSD. They just said it was bad. You know what I mean? Okay, like, but okay, but I can probably counter argue that with something else and say oh you, you know if i if i say something very nice and then they're not even gonna do x like but you can i, I think that couldn't you couldn't you say something nicely but also explain what you're you know what you actually okay but that doesn't accurate. mean it would have a positive effect or it doesn't mean that doesn't a viewer mean... would think differently at the end of the day this is all just speculation right i now, I, right? I agree it is speculation wait i absolutely agree it's speculation but i'm arguing that like from a default stance i feel like most people should just say it in like a like a polite calm sort of way because hold on because even though it couldn't even though it could technically not have a positive effect on someone else that's on them and for the for like the people in between not super biased for you not super biased against you for the people in between wouldn't having like a normal sort of disposition help you get those people to understand you better Listen, I don't, I don't have a concrete answer to that. To, to okay. me, this is a, a personal preference. Like you have tons of content creators all over the world who, who do it in their own way. I like, think, yeah, I, I, I know, like I think... I start listing examples. Like they, they, like, have you heard, like you probably know the Shimmer <sighs> Doctor know. Disrespect. He, he, he completely, the way he interacts with his community, the way he, he gives answers, everything is just like I, completely I, I know, I know it's a personal preference, but I think there's an objectively better method or talking and explaining certain things than like from case to case. And I think in this case, I don't think it needed a harsh tone. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying like, Ooh, my, my feelings are hurt. I'm just saying that like, if you want like to be educational, if you wanted to be accurate, I feel like we didn't need to go like dog shit wrong, whatever. I feel like it would have been better to just lead with it. I mean, like you said, you, I mean, you, you led with reasoning. I, I feel like that, that would have been perfect. That, that's just my point where it's just like, yeah, like ultimately. Uh... I think it could have kept a harsh tone, but the reasoning should have definitely been added. That's what I think. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd agree with that. I mean, I, I'd even appreciate that because that, that would make, uh, that would have like a, like a wider reach because harsh tone, everyone loves to hear someone go off on something, be passionate about something. You're very passionate about these things, right? And give good reasoning. I think that would have been a, a crazy good video, actually. Right. But like. I guess that's a different topic about giving reasoning, not giving reason. I'm just saying that like the worst case is harsh, no reasoning. So at the very least, be you know somewhat nice, even if you're not giving reasoning. You just be like, oh, I don't know about this. Right? Honestly, maybe I mean, okay, I'm not gonna show pick here, but 
There, there probably could. I could probably think of a worse case than that. But okay, sure. But, like okay, yeah. If you're like throwing the fucking slurs out, be like this guy's a, right. Like yeah, that'd probably be like the worst, worst case. I'm just saying, like within reason, that's probably the worst case. So wouldn't we want to just default to like a like a better tone with it, where it's like, like I'll just give you an example. You said many times, I think it's just an efficient. I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, you can try. You can keep an open mind. I feel like that would have been pretty powerful there. If you were to give no reason. But, yeah, okay, but... If you think it's absolutely bad and no one should try it, I okay, think it's okay. at least good. I think that goes to my point. Like, if I were to say... Okay, that, that's something I think I tried to address, rather like... If I were to say, oh, I think it's inefficient, but you, you can try it if you want. To me, that doesn't do good enough, because that, to me, will, like, from my experience of just a lot of things in life i i use spectacle because of that like because if i don't make it so i don't make something stick to people's brains they will not they, they i i but what they if will you were wrong what i'm saying but like just imagine a possibility where if you're, i'm wrong i'm super wrong? super happy to be wrong then i have stuff to learn i would like i love being wrong okay that way that i really enjoy that perspective actually but I feel like you should combo the willingness to be wrong and therefore you can learn with language that... If I wasn't willing to be wrong, I think I would never just, have this hold, call. Hold on. Well, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, I can definitely see that. No, what I'm saying is like your actions don't line up with your, your, your I guess, perspective here. Or at least it doesn't look like that to me. Because if you're willing to be wrong and learn about something, I don't think you would necessarily lead out with the, a level of confidence that you had in saying that something is Bad. I feel like you would really. I, yeah, I yeah. don't think. Wait, because, because honestly, I don't think so. I, well, I, 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 I'll I give think... you an example. I'll give you an example. Okay, if I if I don't know something fully, if I'm not fully certain about something, I will almost never word it like uh, like the way you might have. Where I, I would say like, "Damn, this looks yeah. like, this WSD looks like dog shit to me. I'm not sure. I'm not used to it." But also, sure. mm -hmm. I'm gonna just listen to him real quick. Maybe maybe there's some merits. I'm gonna try to see the ways in which I could be wrong. Um, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I'd say something like, I'd inject a little bit of that uncertainty instead of just this is fucking <laughs> right garbage. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, yeah, what no, you, I agree with you. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, what you said in the video didn't tell me that you were willing to be wrong. It, in the video, it seemed like, like, oh shit, like he just, he's yeah, but, so hard. Okay, but you were saying if you weren't certain, right? Like, when I was, when I was doing a reaction to video, I was right. certain, basically. But even that's fallible, right? Like, how can we be so certain about it without having tried it? Because and then you're again, gonna, we have a different yeah, perspective. Gonna, I don't think I, I have to try something in order to not be certain. About I know. It. I, I, but, I think. But I can. I can tell you that I have thought about this a lot over many, many years. This is not like a topic that's unfamiliar with me. You know? I, I, I know, but we can we can think about the same problem for ten years if we don't even bother to try to like do it or solve it. I, I think. Yeah, but but but. Okay, but I've seen it via other people. Okay. That's my counter argument. Also, like I, I can form simulations in my head of what it would look like. You, you you could yeah I I agree that you could form simulations of what it's like in your head but I I definitely think that's a, that this would just be my only criticism I I don't know if you care to hear this but like if you need sure. to go I, I'll just let you know I, I would criticize this part about where you're too confident it seems like you're too confident in your ability to uh, imagine certain scenarios and then drawing conclusions off of that comboed with um, this is a huge assumption, but I, I don't know if you actually want to say that you weren't good enough to simulate it. It, it seems like you don't want to. It's like, I'm a challenger player as well. I'm not as good as you, but I can simulate a lot of different team fights. But I'll never have the level of certainty that you have in saying that, like, what I think, what my simulation of, like, a team fight would go or, like, certain settings would go is, like, mm -hmm. accurate enough for me to speak objectively. You get what I mean? Like, I'll never have the level of certainty in my head. Even if I think I'm an expert, I'll always sit there I, I know go. what you're saying. I, I, my response to this would be, I think we're just different people. I, I don't know. I think we're just different perspective again. Different thinking. Okay. Okay. Um, do you think that you could benefit from a little bit more of my perspective where it's like, even if I'm really certain, I'm still going to think like, oh, but what if there's like a tiny bit that's wrong? Maybe I should look at but that more. Uh, I mean, that's kind of hard. I feel, I feel like, I feel like the discussion now is who we are as core as people. Honestly, I don't think that's something that we yeah. can 
like sure maybe we can think about controlling it but who we are as scores people i'm i i'm very i'm a very confident person when when i feel confident into something of the topic like it, it was the same when i was in school if a teacher i don't know if it was something that i knew the teacher was wrong about i would openly speak about it right and if it's something that i'm not sure about i would approach the conversation more carefully like in this case yeah my confidence was that, as max as it got so yeah. that, that could be a good that's a great quality right being confident in what you're saying especially if you know that you know right that kind of stuff but don't you think there's some value yeah, it's just like a different quality of each person yeah, yeah, i think that, some people that, will not do that's that, great some people will i'd say i have the exact same thing that i'm very confident in certain things and i when i know that i know i'll say certain things but also you you said that you're okay with being wrong because even if you think that you know that you know right um, if it turns out you're wrong, you're okay with that, you can learn. That's a great perspective. But I think the only thing that you're missing compared to me, because we both have those two qualities, is no matter what I do, even if I'm very confident, I will always inject a little bit of that sort of like, I think like in my speech, I'm not talking about like in my thinking, I'm, I'm like in my thinking, it's like, obviously, if I don't realize there's a mistake, I'm not going to say there's a mistake. I'm just like in my speech, when I when I talk about these things, I say like, uh, but like, maybe there's room to argue this sort of thing. Just so that like anyone listening to me doesn't just get that idea that like oh this is objectively the case that, or or that Nidhogg is saying that this is objectively the case. You get my my point there because I think uh, we're very similar. I get similar. your point. I just think we're like different as people. Like, we're, we're different in how we want to talk, right? Like you just want to be like fuck it, I'm right. Boom. Like if you're an idiot, you're an idiot. Like you know. I think it depends sort of on the context, but yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm just talking about this case. Like that seems to be the approach, and I'm just saying that like it would probably be better for an actual conversation to throw in a little bit of that like but maybe it could be better for some because it turns out a lot of people have been saying that like this is just revolutionized the way they play it could technically be worse for them and they don't know it maybe it could be an education thing but i would believe in you know at least like three or four people so far which is a pretty massive number compared to zero right <laughs> I think I think. That's I mean, fair. I, I respect your opinion. I know what you're saying. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I I, I'm not saying that. Yeah, like, I, can, I can't like I'm... say right now. Yeah, I think you're right. Or yeah, yeah, you know, like I think basically the only thing I can say is I respect and or your opinion, and uh, and uh, and I understand what you're saying, yeah. and I'll keep thinking about it. I'll keep giving these things, you know, uh, my like keep going to my thought process. That's yeah. what I do. I'm not necessarily trying to change your mind right now. I'm just. I'm. I'm just. I'll be honest, the only reason I'm saying this is because I don't think anyone else will have an opportunity to maybe present this case to you. This idea of like, sometimes we might need to be a little bit more fair to a topic and not just like full send it. Because I notice that a lot of streamers do that, right? Like I know it's a personal preference, but a lot of streamers will just yeah, well, full send their, their opinion. I think that's also a byproduct of how the streamers... Um... The environment, the, yeah, like the environment they're in, the, the the environment they surround themselves, yeah, it's just like this internet streaming space. I, I think that that's why a lot of streamers are this way naturally. It doesn't mean they can be in another way, right. or, or you know, I think that's like an entirely different topic. And yeah, I can definitely respect you a lot more for saying that sort of stuff and like uh, the things earlier acknowledging um, like the, the the effects of the environment. It, I think I think that would show. A lot of my viewers who I think were pretty, uh, they were full sent. I, mean, I think this is um, pretty evident from if you're following any Twitch shimmer for many years, or how they evolve as people, or following dramas of how immature yeah. some well, I, I'm people just, can be. Blah, I'm blah, just blah, saying blah. that, like, uh, you have, like, you showing us the awareness of, the, of this um, speaks volumes, especially um, if they're to listen to you in the future, right? Like, because I, I think a lot of people came off assuming that, oh, Nemesis is so, so hardened by this and like, it just won't shake on this. I think, um, like even I me, mean, right? Like I even, think, even I think I we should acknowledge that people aren't the same as they are on stream, right? Like a lot, a, lot, a lot of people that when they're on stream, they also have a certain stream persona. That doesn't mean like- I don't think that's example, a good thing that is, You don't. Like, no. okay, let me give you an example. Do you think Tyler One is the same person as he presents himself on stream? Yes, but even if he weren't, that wouldn't really? be a good thing. Yes. I think he's a completely different person when he's not on stream. Because of a different environment, of course. There's a difference between sitting in front of an audience versus like being in a situation where saying the things yeah. that he might say are just completely socially awkward. And I'm not going to say that like he's going to ever, ever get beat up or anything, but there's always a threat of like physical violence in real life. A different environment obviously, you know, change people's language. I'm not I, that that made you 
look a bit different. I'm just saying that like for the average person talking shit like that online, that probably wouldn't happen in real life because they get their ass beat. For example, me, like I'm I'm not gonna ever no, start I, any I, shit. Okay, yeah, I'm I agree. tiny, right? Like I, I'm just saying that like uh, them having a different personality in real life doesn't necessarily mean that like it's a it's an okay or it's like a free pass to have a stream persona. You know how many people talk shit online? Okay, okay I think I think that's like a different topic because I think what you're talking about is like there's a certain line that well you should I, respect. I, I assume that well well you, you're saying that people have a different persona for being on stream versus being uh, offline. Yeah, the and, people and, have different and, and, and you're saying that's somewhere. okay. And I yeah, I think I'm so. saying that's not okay. Really? Yes. Well, okay, not oh. by virtue of them being different. I'm saying if you are an asshole online, but you're uh, nice in real life, that's not okay. okay but I should I think clarify. That's a different topic. I think you're going like more in depth, you know. Yeah. I just meant yeah. in general. I mean, like, I mean, if they're like very, are will not be the same. Well, let me just qualify. That. Let me just qualify that really quickly. Um, sure, sure, like, sure. there's a difference between being like a very cheery, extroverted person on stream, very like outgoing, hello, hi, hello, and that kind of shit, and then being yeah. silent uh, in real life. That that's okay. That's fine. It doesn't really hurt anyone. Okay. I, I'm I'm just saying that if you have like a like a because you brought up Tyler one, I assume that you're talking about that kind of persona where like if you're very no, loud, no, I was just giving a random example. Yeah, if you're very loud, aggressive, very confident, confidently wrong in a lot of cases, uh, kind of person on stream, but you're yeah. you're a lot more timid and like maybe more like analytical in real life, and you take yeah. some time to think. I think that's wrong. That's bad. Really? Yes, because you're setting an example for a lot of people. And yes, the onus is on a lot of people to interpret that. But also the way in which yeah, you present it, I think there's a balance. I I, I understand your perspective, but I mean I understand your perspective, yeah. But I, I you just don't you, you don't think it matters that much. Uh, it's it's a really really tough topic, honestly, to get into. Like like most most people would disagree with your opinion. I think. Of course they would, because they're viewers and they don't understand they don't understand the responsibility that. No, like, even the streamers like, themselves, I think, would. Disagree yeah, because a lot of streamers with, yeah. definitely want to shirk from that responsibility of like making sure that they have a proper image and they're being accurate or at least keeping a balance like i said they want to just full send it yeah i wouldn't even i i i wouldn't ever rely on a streamer's perspective on what streamers should do they're going to be hella biased towards like i want to be able to do whatever i want i think Me included it depends i mean i think that kind of depends on people i think there's definitely streamers out there that that are as real as real as they are when they're not on stream, personally. Or, or if that makes sense. Sorry, could you repeat that? I think there's definitely people out there that stream that are as real as I uh, as real as they are when they're not on stream. Yeah, that's a good thing. At least they're not yeah. two faced. Yeah. Yeah, but I was trying to make this as like a counterpoint when you said that like. You would never listen to a streamer's opinion or something like that you just said or or no i meant like streamers as like a whole like in on an individual to individual case i i there are probably people i'd listen to and be like oh i can okay okay okay, okay i, I mean okay, like okay. in general if any streamer were to sit there and say that like it's totally fine for me to play it up right for views and not try to strike a balance and like maybe break character and be like okay don't actually troll guys right like that kind of stuff or like explain it I mean, we've never seen a case of someone doing that. <laughs> it's either full send or not. Yeah. But but to be fair, people striking a balance, you wouldn't be able to detect that anyway. But that's exactly my point where it's like, they're, they're probably not detectable because they're not making any waves. They're not like being way too fucking aggressive and like being an asshole for the scene. I'm not going to name any names, but we can think of many of those. Mm -hmm. Right. I can think of positive examples, maybe like Saber, right? Like Saber... He just plays he complains sure but he plays the game and like he can easily admit when he's like oh i'm a donkey right like he could be funny about it i think that's mm -hmm. a good balance some people could label that toxic when he complains other people could label at as humor and, it, and that actually is him i've met him in real life he's really funny like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um do you, do you get my point though about like yeah no i get your point but i think we agree yeah we we could you just state it again we agree on what in particular we agree on this topic that you were just talking about like when it comes to shimmers like case to case basis blah 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 you know we agree that like uh it's not good if they're no like... I, I meant when you were talking about 
who you would listen to for the opinion. Oh yeah, we'd have to go. Yeah, we'd have to go on a case to case basis. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't agree that someone being an asshole on stream but being nice in real life is okay. Yeah, I don't know if I would necessarily agree with that. Why not? Like. Because I think there is like a merit for you know different personas on stream. I don't see why someone would need to to act the same exact way as they do. You don't have to ex act the camera. exact same way. I'm just talking about like a, a significant enough. I mean, we can't quantify it, but let's say like you're really. But you probably up. need to give me an example, maybe. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> if you have one, I mean, you don't. I mean, have I, one. I no, I I have a lot actually. I'm trying. To, I, 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 okay, okay. Uh, but I know. Let's say, let's say XQC, right? He would be a case yeah. of someone who is probably the same online as real life. But let's just imagine that he's not. Yeah. Right. Let's okay. let's imagine that he's not, and he's okay. like he's just like full send goblin mode. He can be very yeah. rude, very disrespectful yeah, to yeah, people, yeah. but yeah. it's funny. But it's funny, right? Yeah. There's merit to, yeah. to that. You're saying there's merit to yeah. to being like that. But what if like in real life mm -hmm. he's just not like that? You would you would be okay with being friends with someone oh, like that? Oh, or... okay. I think it's definitely case to case dependent, and I think it's about like what our morals are as people, and what we deem fine and what we don't deem fine. I think in his case, I would yeah. probably not like to be him. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I would probably like be on your side, where I would not like to be him. Yeah. Okay. It's a case by case basis based on morals. It's a case by right? case. IMO. Sure. Yeah, but on, but like, if I had instance. to if I had to go with a general guideline, I'm not trying to create a safe space where like you can never talk shit about anything. It's more like about having accountability. This is what I'm saying. Where it's like if someone talks shit all not online a ton, acts like a certain way, and influences people by doing that, but then in real and, and their business grows because like, you know, people love toxicity, but in real life they're just like not like that. They're nice to people, they'll, you know, go out to eat or something and not say stupid shit. Yeah, I mean, I would also How like to not be that. I, I yeah. We, yeah, we, we agree, right? Wouldn't you want to like at least have some consistency in the way in which you like at least if you're a dick online, be a dick in real life, so we can know that you're not like playing it up or something. I'd rather someone accidentally. Be I, a dick I think I have. Than I mean, intentionally, if be a you're dick. talking about okay, if you're talking about me, I think I don't like. I feel like I, I can be a dick in life as well not just on stream or if that's the topic <laughs> okay then then i guess my point would be that's not a good thing either way right like you probably don't want to be a dick in real life either i, I okay but that, that's really case to case dependent like right i don't think we should generalize something like that we should we shouldn't generalize that people shouldn't be dicks in real life is that what you mean, or you mean like uh, I'm drawing conclusion? Being a dick like, in real life sometimes can be a good thing. Genuinely, I do think so. Uh, could, could you give me an example? Sure. Um, who was the actor? Tom, Tom Cruise, I think. He was being like a dick. Uh, I know there's like a um leak on a camera set where people weren't taking their jobs uh, seriously, and he was like being a dick in that moment. A Christian Bale to like. He was talking shit to the cameraman. That one? No, t Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Okay, I guess him as well. Yeah. But why is that for, a good? I thing? think I read like an article because in that in that moment, it it made people like be serious about it. You know. Okay, I think I think you're conflating um, being a dick and like having to use a harsher tone or be more serious about something. I, I think I think I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. We okay, both... well, okay, okay. Let me give another example. What about Michael Jordan when he was constantly right? You use this example. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I did respond on stream. I oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, what if Michael Jordan were nicer to his teammates, but when they repeat the mistake and they you know maybe they cost the team something? Yeah. Okay. They, yeah. He's but... harsher incrementally. Well, okay, okay. If you watch this, if you watch the the series about the Michael Jordan, the documentary. The whole point of that segment, as far as I understood it, is that he tried the other way and it didn't work, so he had to be the asshole for it to work. Wait, that's... And then later on, as many years yeah. have passed, 
the people like his teammates back at the time were, that he was like fucking being rude to were thanking him for being that way because they know they wouldn't be able to get as far as they Wait, could that's great, if he though. wasn't that way that, that that's a perfect example I, i'd use that example too he tried being nice at first right that's what you that's what you said that's what they said in the series or the documentary or something yeah he tried being okay he started off by being nice but then when it was required he upped his tone he, he was more harsh and maybe he was more mm -hmm. aggressive with his teammates He yeah. matched the situation, but he started off by being nice, right? Sure. And, and, and also, I just, I just want to clarify the relationship between Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, right, and, and his teammates is that they're on a professional team together where they where they have like a, one singular intention, right, which is to, to win, probably have fun secondary, right, but to win. Sure. Would we agree? Sure. Would we agree that that's like a working relationship, a professional relationship, as well as like a like a personal friendship, right? There's like yeah. layers to that. I think yeah. I think that kind of relationship is perfectly fine to start off nice, but if they don't fucking work, right? Like maybe you're on fanatic, maybe you started off nice, and then you're like, yo, you're fucking feeding, right? Like maybe you started. I think that's fine yeah. within like constraints, as in like you're not calling someone a slur. Just just okay, 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 sure. But 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 let me just make this point: for strangers on the internet to immediately go to like the fucking aggressive mode. There's a difference between that, not only in the relationship, because you don't have an established connection. I didn't know you personally until just now, right? Until we just started talking. We, we, sure. Right? And, and you didn't know me personally. Maybe you knew of me. I don't know. Um, so now we can probably be more yeah, But that's like, that's like a person-to-person -person decision, It, right? Wait, Whether, exactly. How they want to present themselves. Um, okay. But, 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 but. I guess that's my point, right? Where it's like you need to try to understand each other first before you get into the fucking Michael Jordan level of. Shit I, I guess I have like a different perspective. I don't really like. You don't I think that's required? Like, I, I don't. I wouldn't say that's required. No. Okay. How, okay. Maybe not required, but let's say this then. I can get you agree on this. Wouldn't it be beneficial to start off with the right foot instead of just again? I that, I think that's really hard for me to agree to. I mean, I know you have a different process, but like, what if everyone did what you did and just... Yeah. <laughs> what would everyone do what I did? Yeah, I mean, there would be, there'd be a lot of fighting, right? Wait, Probably. oh, yes. Yeah, but what if everyone did what I'm saying, which is, why don't we just start off like nice first? But if we're really not fucking But that's it, the beauty of people, right? We're different as people. If everyone did what I did, the world would be boring. It's beautiful and it's a boring, fucking honestly. ugly thing too, right? It's a fucking ugly thing as well. It's a, it, yes, we're all different, but some of us are fucking stupid, right? So wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice if we could all... Just start off with, hey, I'm going to explain my things, but Tom. Okay, but that's your perspective. Another I, person exactly. might have, you Wait, know? No, exactly. That is my perspective. I'm not saying that it's objectively correct. I'm just, I'm just giving you reasons as to why I think my perspective would be better in the context of Michael Jordan, Tom Cruise, you or me or anyone else, including the viewers to streamers. Wouldn't it be nice if we just start off with, oh, I have a problem with you. Let me just try to word this properly. Let me explain it to you and not be like invalidating and being a piece of shit, right? Again, I, I could, like, again, like, as we discussed earlier, like, I, I can definitely have, like, counterpoints and counter arguments in, in, in a topic like this. You would argue that it wouldn't be beneficial? Uh, no, default. I could argue against that, basically. Uh, would you agree that it is beneficial, though? Or it could be beneficial? Again, I could that? argue against that. Okay. Did you so it's hard for me to say yes or no. Okay. If you had to choose everyone taking my perspective versus everyone taking your perspective, just, just, just without, without thinking too, too deeply about it. Like, I'm just wondering what your answer would be. I mean, you would, in that case, you would probably take the nicer perspective. Okay. But the, obviously like, case it, by case, right? Like, yes, but, but the world would also work differently in that way. And that's not the world we live in. You're thinking that we'd be less efficient because we're nice to each other. I'm not saying that we have to necessarily be nice. It's more like we're being fair. Fair meaning we respect each other enough that the moment we start talking to each other, given that we don't know each other, we start off with respect. And then if we need to, we break down that barrier and say, fuck respect, I'm going to tell you what's up. I don't think that's necessarily the right way in every case. I, it, It's hard for me to agree to that, honestly. Could you explain to me why that wouldn't be necessarily the right process? 
Because I really think it's just case by case dependent. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to present it in a way where it, it, it's good for all cases. As in, if someone's nice and smart and you can talk to them, you don't ever have to get into the fighting territory. I mean, but if someone's... I, don't wanna, I don't wanna make a hypothetical scenario of someone saying something and then something occurring. Well, I'm just thinking... But I, I think they do happen. I'm thinking in terms of worst case, someone who wants to argue with you, if you start off nice, maybe you can bring them back up or like if they don't want to engage, you leave or maybe you fight them Again, on the same level. My argument is there's plenty of cases in the world where someone starting off uh, rude or whatever had a more positive effect than someone if in that case they would start off with being nice. Sure, I, I mean, yeah, some, some people like that, right? Like, I agree. Like, some people want to just hear it straight. They want to, like, you know, take it right away. Like, yeah, fuck it. Give it to me. Tough love. Talk shit to me. But a lot of those people suffer issues from having way too thick skin and that they don't let that kind of emotion come out because they think for some reason it makes them like a bait, like an alpha male or something. I mean, there's so many issues with that perspective. Uh, again, it doesn't I make think, anyone I mean, any cooler to, to be able to take that. Everyone deserves a little bit of respect to begin with. I mean, I'm sure you would appreciate if people didn't just start I, off. I saying, personally don't think. Okay, I, I mean, we have a different perspective again, but I, I don't think right. you owe respect to anyone necessarily. I don't think so. Like a lot of people think that way. Like respect is earned, not given. Okay, what right? has? I mean, what if like a six-year-old child walked up to you and like again, said hello? Case by case. Is that? But if you're starting off by saying that no one deserves respect, it's earned, what did the six-year-old child walking up to you do to earn your respect? They're I mean, a child, they're useless, they can't do anything. A child can't context. combo Katarina's abilities properly. What did he do to earn your respect? Again, respect is different in each context. Okay, uh, could you give me an example of what kind of respect this child would need to get from you? Okay, I, I don't know what, like, what do, what do you mean? What, what is the, like, what is the child asking in this case? Like, I, I no, don't just saying it. hello to you, right? Like, yeah, and as a human, you probably have a lot of options, right? You can say, well, I mean, what, what would you, what I don't would know you what say? other people would say. Most people would probably say hello. Yeah. Some people would probably ignore. But why why does that kid deserve say, enough? Leave me alone. Maybe someone would say something else. Yeah, I don't know. Well, what, did, what did that kid do to, I mean, what would you say? <laughs> I would to... probably say hello. What did he do to deserve like a regular hello instead of fuck off, kid? I mean, he doesn't really start off, if he doesn't start off with your respect, right? I mean, again, I think that's person to person. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering, like, for you in your head, like, what do you do to label this kid, this six year old, hypothetical six year old kid, as someone worthy Nothing. of respect? Nothing. I have a neutral stance. Okay, wait, wait. yeah, stance. exactly. We... Giving a hello to me is a neutral stance. Wait, uh, uh, it's that... not, I have respect. It's not, I don't have respect. It's just something Okay, I, I guess we have different wording here. Uh, I mean, your neutral stance, to me, from my perspective, that neutral stance is you having a baseline level of respect for people, enough to say hello to even someone like a child. You get what I mean? Uh, uh, you, you're that, probably thinking again, of a... that is that is context to context. A lot of people have said hello to me and I didn't say a word to them. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, seriously. Uh, oh, Seriously. Okay. I, do... <laughs> I can give you an example. I, once I was walking in the street in Germany in 2019, and some like person just came up to me and started talking to me, and I just didn't reply. I just walked past. Because I don't know. Maybe you had something to do. You didn't want to say hi back, or there's a lot of reasons to that. First of all, I don't speak their language. Second of all, I don't want to deal with strangers because I don't know them. It could potentially be harmful to me. A child being harmful to me is probably not the case. Because, oh, okay, so well, you're you're measuring AI in that case. The child is like, I can things, beat right? this kid you up. Have to or... in your head. Okay, okay, that's a very um, pragmatic way of looking at it, I suppose. Uh, I, I just thought that maybe we'd agree that there's like a baseline level. You're saying like, you fuck it, no one gets respect to begin with. You have to earn it, right? Oh, it depends how you quantify like respect like uh, baseline level sure i think most people we can do agree this this baseline a... level oh, okay probably yeah. most people i would agree with that yeah how about everyone no not everyone like if i know someone is a trash person they will not get respect by me but you probably started off thinking that that guy had respect and then you learned something about or that that they deserve respect, and then you learn something about them, and then that lowered it, right? 
Yeah. But I'm saying you started off at zero, or you started at off zero? at like at like let's make up a number uh, like again, zero to hundred. Again, for example, that person I walked past, I, I had no information on, and I still decided to not speak to them. Right. So I think but, again, the, the, there's other things that you that in that case you would evaluate in your head, like probably something, probably something you can see with their eyes or or, or with your eyes or something like that, right? Right, like maybe they look shady or something. So, but but they they start they're starting off at like not zero. They're starting off at I don't know fifty out of a hundred, and then you go like, oh fuck, this guy looks shady. Okay, minus twenty. Like, are you, you're saying you're no, doing that? You start off with zero. Zero meaning neutral to me. Oh, zero. Okay, zero is neutral to you. Okay, I would say zero is neutral. So you're just like the default way you'll approach someone or you, you'll you'll interact with someone is. You won't even give them a hello if you think that they're not worthy of it. No, it's not that they're not worthy of it. If I they think... just don't deserve. Well, I mean, they don't deserve your no, respect. It's not about deserving. It's about okay. I'm just trying to get the language right. What I think right. is best for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to understand you here. Like, so I'm using some of the words that you you used earlier. What do you mean by like it's best for you? It can mean a lot of things, like so like saying hello to that guy is just like not worth it. You don't speak their language. It could be harmful to you. Not, yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly there could it. be potential dangers. Uh, maybe I don't want. Maybe I value my time more. Uh, it could it could mean a lot okay. of things again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like like you're just prioritizing. People yourself. have reasons, and and they can act based on those reasons. Like it's their decision, right? This is my decision. I I, I yeah. What's so one second? Yeah. All good. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm I'm busy right now. Sorry, so sorry. Um, no, I understand that, but um, don't you think that is at the cost of other people? I mean, I'm not saying that you not saying hello to that person ruined their I day. I would prioritize myself over other people in every single scenario, in every single case in life. But even in a case where it doesn't really cost you much to say hello. Yes, if I if I value something that I like about myself more highly than that, I will. Uh, value myself okay. in that case. Yeah. Why do I? Why do I ask you this one? Hypothetical in the same, uh, but in the same sure. scenario where like the guy comes up to you and says hello. What if you high APM it and you go, "Hi, sorry, I don't have time to talk," and then you just keep going. Again, if I don't feel like it, I won't do it. But but does it cost you a lot to say that? It, I mean, I guess like the breath. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't cost you the breath. Like if my head doesn't seem worth it, if my brain doesn't want to i don't need to do it i i, I know like, i'm not saying you have to i'm not saying I'm, I'm just wondering like for you in particular is that like a hard thing to do it's a hard thing to do no right like it, it it's probably an easy thing to do just be like oh, probably sorry, not but time. to me it's not about hard or not to me it's about want you know? yeah no about, no that, that that's to me it's about reevaluating with a certain i, I get your perspective right metrics in my head whether it's worth it or not no i i i i, 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 under, I understand that you prioritize yourself you, you know it's whether you want it you want to do it I, i'm just trying to introduce like a, a different sort of perspective of like what if it just doesn't really cost you anything or might even take like half a second two seconds yeah but, but it i could, evaluate Okay, but I value it. Is half a second word for me or not? That is something I take in consideration. Okay. It is me opening my mouth worth it to me or not? Like, I will literally evaluate this and then be act based upon what my decision is, you know? I do care about those things, even if it's yeah, okay. the smallest, the easiest thing in the world, I will care about it. Okay. That is who I am. I can't change who I am. I'm not sure about. That's how I'm born. Okay, okay. I, I can I can take that. I can take like the the uh, I can't change who I am line. But I'm wondering if you ever thought about trying to change who you are. Just real quick. I don't think that ruined that guy's day. You not saying hello, but it probably made them yeah. think like, what the hell, right? Maybe just like a tiny, oh, I, I, tiny, yeah, sure. tiny bit I, of like a asshole. I don't care. You don't. You... In that case, I don't care. But why? <laughs> <laughs> but why? Because why is a low elo or something? I don't owe them anything. I don't owe them anything. No, I know. I know. No, no, you don't owe them anything. You, you don't. You don't owe them anything. I'm not saying you do. I mean, but why would I care? Sure, sure. Let's just go with you don't owe them anything. But, but why not? <laughs> because yeah, because why I, would I? because it doesn't really take you much effort to just say like hello back, right? Like oh hey. Yeah, but okay, but but I, my brain doesn't seem to be worth it. Like doesn't deem your to brain. Be worth wait, it. your your brain just says like fuck that shit. That's not worth it. No, I re I evaluate it okay. and i genuinely think okay. i don't want to do it like 
again, the way I would explain yeah. this is how I'm born. Like, it's no, 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 I, 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 I understand. I you. don't like, want I, to change that because then that wouldn't be me anymore. Yeah, I'd like be a different person. No, I agree. But okay, okay. Uh, I mean, actually, that's a great point. Like, would you? Do you think that the you that you are is like, a, like a perfect example of what someone should be? Like, would you be okay with more people being like you? No, I honestly like the the. I think the the most fun and best part about life is that everyone is unique. If everyone like, I I wouldn't want anyone else to be like me. Honestly, Ooh, that's a okay. What I'm what I'm asking is like, would you be okay with like more people being like you? Not not oh, whether or not yeah. it's fun or no. You. I would be okay. I would be okay. So like two nemesis is walking by, one goes hello because his brain says okay. I don't know, and then uh, the other all, and the other nemesis not, goes no. okay. No, that can't be true because if two nemesis were <laughs> they walking just by, walk by. would say hello. We would just pass by. <laughs> they would just fucking walk. So, so yes. let's go to the logical extreme then. Everyone's nemesis okay. now. We've got nemesises and nemesinas or something. No one says anything. They just walk by and they just silent. Would that be the case? Uh, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. Probably not because, okay, this, this is like such a weird discussion, but probably not because by then I would have realized that everyone is like me. So then the you conversation would, would probably start because everyone is like me. Oh, okay. So you would you know? adapt. Yeah. Then adaptation would come in. So why, why would you adapt? Because it's silent or because you think there's something worth to be, to be said? Because in order for human race to survive, we need to adapt in that case. Well, you technically don't have to speak, right? Maybe if you're like talking to a child. No, I, I think I think as for human no, them. race to evolve, we need to speak. Well, I'm just I'm just talking about like in terms of like literally making more humans. You can just fuck without saying anything, right? I'm t but like obviously, if you're like teaching a kid or something, or teaching people, you probably have to speak, right? But talking is very efficient in that case because we would need to still right. progress. So talk. I guess we can make the conclusion that like small talk, like saying hi on the street, just doesn't fucking matter. But like something like teaching someone how to like do math. That'd probably be more important. That's worthy of respect. But again, that that, that depends. Shit, that sure, still sure, that but that, that again depends on what the person wants to do, right? Right. I'm just wondering why the the nemesis start talking. They would start saying like, "Hey, we need to like build something or whatever." It, you're trying to survive, right? You're trying to. Yeah. Man, I, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to I'm trying to crack I mean, into the brain here. I'm trying to figure out what would make you say hello to a stranger. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> even even I don't know what would happen in that scenario. Like it, for me, I'm just speculating right now, right? Okay. But um, what would happen for me to, for to say hello to a stranger? <laughs> yeah, what would it take? I mean, I mean, there are definitely cases where I do say hello to a stranger, and that's but not just... because. That's your brain. Okay, but not not good. not because um I, I just walk past by and, and I say hello. I never do that. Like never. I will never pass by someone and say hello. I will maybe sometimes say hello back if they say hello. I, that does happen. Sometimes, depending. But I will never go probably and say hello just out of nowhere to someone I don't know. Now, if I were saying hello to something, it would be because of a reason. Let's say, hypothetically, I'm lost in an airport. Yeah, mm. maybe I'll walk up to a stranger, say hello, and ask them a question how to get not lost at the airport. Maybe that will happen. Okay, that th there's a function to that. You're asking how not to get lost, but you wouldn't just be like, "Hey," and then walk away. No, probably never. No, I can't remember the last time I did that. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I would say hello back if they say it first sometimes, right. but I would never probably start the convo. No. So, w w like, what if someone came I don't up think to I've you? I've never done that. What if someone came up to you, like I don't know, TwitchCon or like any like event, and be like, "Hey, Nemesis, yeah. I'm a big fan." Yeah. No. Then I reply to them. That has how happened. Come? A thousand times in life, yeah. I always talk to people. I how, take come? how come? How come they blah, blah, deserve blah. the respect? They deserve the respect. How come? I mean, because I'm I'm in a public setting and they watch me. They're my supporters. Of course, I I, I of course I. They deserve respect like, because they give I have a baseline to you. respect for them, and I'm also like I'm a public persona. Like I don't see any, I I I see not only no harm, but I also see beneficial of me taking photos with other people. Mm, so it, like, you'll say hello if it, if it's like beneficial to you, and also you say it, that you have a responsibility. I, I'm assuming when you say you're a no, public because, persona. No, because I I say hello to people back when they say hello, even when there's no benefit in me. So sometimes that does happen. Again, depends on what mood I'm in, what I'm thinking. Mood, mood, blah okay. blah 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 blah. I see. Okay. It, yeah, yeah. It depends on the mood. Depends on you know the setting, of course. 
I'm just so curious about that one because uh, uh, I mean that one's an obvious one, right? Where like a fan says, hello. but what if a fan says hello like at the grocery store and she's like, "Oh, I noticed that you're." you're yeah, I'll right? also reply. I'll also reply. Okay, it's just like it's just literally your brain has like a code of like this, but not that, and just different from you. To yeah, like I think it just depends context to context, okay. kind of yeah. But you, and then like you said, you don't care about how other people feel about that. Like if you just don't say hello. Yeah. No, I don't care. Could I ask why not? It just doesn't occur to you, or like, like you actively try not to care about it, or like you think that it's not worth it. Because or in you order to care care. about every single person that you meet in life, will take crazy amounts well, of effort that I don't not, seem that the channel on. doesn't seem. Hold on, to not, be worth not, it. not, not care about them fully. I just mean like care about like responding to them, just like for half a second. Hello. Yeah, but because I, I don't benefit from it at all. That's why I don't care. Like there's just nothing in it for me. Oh, okay. So, so do you, do I don't you think? I care about their feelings. I don't care about anything of them. In my mind, they don't exist. Okay. Uh, oh wow. I will not think about them. I will, when I'm passing by and I'm walking down the store, they're gone from my mind. Yeah, I maybe, mean, you'll okay, probably never think see about them. About it, like, right? what the fuck did that guy want from me? Maybe I'll like uh, walk forward. Okay, they passed by. Uh, you're gone. I'm not gonna think of it. Okay. Anymore. Okay. So it probably like uh, your brain's probably tailored towards like um, I should only interact if it's beneficial. You well, do not you, always, but mostly. Mostly, mostly. What's a case? I think every brain is like this, yeah. honestly. Or like most people's brains are are like mm -hmm. that. I generally believe so. Do you think that that would be a good thing if they were? They would only. I think they are, and I think it's a good thing. Yeah. You think it's a would you rather people be willing to okay let's start with this it's a good thing to do things that are beneficial for yourself right yeah let's take two cases everyone can abuse let's take, uh, yeah agree to this. let's take two cases that people tend to prioritize things that that are, that are beneficial to themselves but also in one case one side never does shit that's not beneficial to them and and prioritizes things that's beneficial to them and so this means that like, that is up to that is up to them to decide what is. Well, uh, let's just imagine the case of two different people, right? And, and in, in the other case, people are willing to do things that are not beneficial to them, might even be harmful to them, but it helps others. Which one's better? Again, in your mind, not screw the case by case. Just like which what one if is better? Yeah, just I, I, it's not the most accurate example, but like like just if you had to choose between the two, people that it's are probably better for the person that's benefiting themselves, honestly. You, you wouldn't choose a side that's willing to help others? Maybe no, even. I'd probably choose the side where it's beneficial for the person. But, but if, honestly, like that, that's just a hard question to answer. Like, but if everyone were only willing to benefit themselves, how would we get anywhere? Why would we do cancer research, for example? Because you might not get cancer. What if you didn't get cancer and you're like 80 or you're like, fuck that, bro. I skipped that yeah, shit. But, 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 but just because someone doesn't have cancer doesn't mean it can be beneficial for them or their family in the long exactly. run. Right, exactly. So even if you don't get cancer, it would be helpful to do cancer research or maybe contribute to it, even if you yeah, don't get it. I don't disagree. Wait, that's... Right, so, so that's something that's typically selfless. Wait, this is so funny. Typically selfless, but it's actually beneficial to you because you could potentially contract cancer and also your sure. family members. But, but technically, if you don't get cancer... It didn't benefit you, did you? Or did it? Um, because maybe, I don't know, bone marrow cancer. And you, maybe, you may, 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 maybe it benefited your brain. Maybe you like the, the, the feeling of gathering new information. Like, again, I don't know. Right? Maybe, maybe someone really likes gathering new information and getting better at something. In that case, maybe they do benefit because they're doing, doing a thing they like. Okay. I don't know. Okay, that, that, that's like a... But the side effect of that is that, you know, we did some cancer research while you also got some new information in your brain, right? Like that's a, that's a good yeah. thing. Wouldn't we want more people to do something like that? That they do things that are mutually beneficial I mean, for themselves as a, well in as In an others. ideal world, in an ideal, ideal world, yeah, yeah. people, in, a, in an ideal world. People where, are capable yeah, of doing things for others, even at the cost. People are capable of doing things for others. People are acting like 
Could we agree you know, that behaviorally prior- they're yeah. acting nice, they're not doing any crimes, they're not yeah, blah, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, so normal. so if and you're not doing crimes, good. if you're not doing stupid shit, prioritizing yourself can be okay, right? But but wouldn't it be like the perfect person that like he doesn't do crimes, doesn't do shit, right? Prioritizes himself, himself, herself, their their self. Yeah, uh, no, I agree, and, but and, and hold on perfect and world. helps others as well. Yeah, we don't live in a perfect world, though. But yeah, I, I, I know, but like, if it like that would be like a pretty good person. We want most people to be like that, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Do you think you're closer to that person or not? Because you said yes. that you you think you think you're clo- you think you're close to that kind of ideal, like. But but you said that you 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 don't care about others. You want to like benefit yourself, pretty much. Okay, no, I said it's case to case dependent. Like in that particular uh, moment, let's just talk I don't about really in general. About this. In general, do you prioritize yourself ninety percent of the time, eighty percent, just, just random number? Probably more than fifty. I think it would be very hard to find a person that isn't more than fifty. But I don't know exactly what the what the percentage okay. is. Do you, like, honestly, do you think you prioritize yourself more than the average person? Because I would argue in the yes. average person. Yeah, I would say yes. Because I I would say no. I would say no. You case. think you think people are more selfish, more self uh, important? Yeah, I do. This is from like your own life. Like you've met people like this. Yeah, I mean, this is just my experience right subjective experience okay. or whatever. yeah like obviously like, yeah i'm just it's hard for me to prove right now no it's not the case or yes right. it is the case it's i'm just, just trying to figure it out because like yeah I, I mean we come from two different worlds right so yeah perspective it's like from from my perspective the way i was raised it's like yeah you should definitely prioritize yourself make sure you're eating or like you know surviving yeah. right focus mm-hmm. on your job but if it doesn't hurt you if it doesn't hurt me hurt you hurt whoever whomever um just go out of your way, do something nice for someone, right? Like, do you have a girlfriend? I, no. No? Uh, have you had no. girlfriends in the past? Could I ask? No. no. Oh, okay. Um, or maybe a family member, right? Like, have you ever bothered to do something nice for, like, your mom or your yeah. dad? Just, like, sure. e- even though, like, yeah. it took time for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, I- I'm just saying, like, those kind of things, do you think they're limited to, like, family or friends? Couldn't you do something, like, even just briefly nice for someone um, else? Family and friends? Because most people say, like, I only care about my family and friends. Like, no, I can... no, no. Uh, I definitely think you can make exceptions and do this for strangers. Let's say, hypothetically, I would make a giveaway and one of my viewers would win yeah. it. But that's also beneficial then I tend to to... I'm talking about things that are, like, strictly, like, okay, a, but, okay, a but waste. What if time. I do something for someone? No, I mean, okay. Sure, in that case, maybe it's beneficial for me, but... I don't know. Okay. Hmm. What if I... What if I browse the internet and I see someone that's struggling with cancer and they're making a fundraiser page and I donate like, yeah. I don't know, whatever amount of money. In that case, yeah, it doesn't good, really yeah. benefit me, right? It doesn't really benefit you and like, you're just, you're just going out of your way to help someone. Yeah. Have you yeah. done that? Yeah. 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 No, that, 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 that's a great thing. I, I mean, I, pre- I thank you on his behalf, right? Or her behalf. Like, that's, a, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, wouldn't we all benefit? Oh, 100%. Wouldn't, wouldn't society yeah, no, 100%. be better if we, we do that a little bit more? It's just, uh, it's just, you're I just I think the world would be way yeah. better if people did that more, 100%. In, instead of, instead of having like a purely like, oh, fuck that guy. He could die of cancer, right? Like, yeah, no, yeah. 100%. I agree with you. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad we agree. It's just the difference of like what you do on your daily basis, uh, on a daily basis in your life. Compared to, like, I think we just agree on something in principle. It's just, you have a different environment. Fuck that guy saying hello, right? Yeah. I think it's just like very context case to case dependent okay I would say. but i i will also say that i i think there's a difference in how we baseline treat people like i will almost all like i'll have a higher percentage of times where i'll say like i'll have like 95 percent of the time i'll say hello back you'll you'll say hello back maybe like 50 percent. i don't know right like you'll have a lower number probably a bit less but yeah but that's a diff, that's like a specific like hello you might say something back 95 percent of the time if they say like what runes do you take and i might say fuck off 50 percent of the time right like yeah we'll have, yeah okay. i think we, we, we yeah. definitely i think we we are very different as people yeah not just you and me but just everyone yeah but despite that we can both agree that it'd be nice for people to do go out of their way to do things for others even yeah. if it's not necessarily beneficial sometimes yeah i agree Okay, yeah, so I'm not saying always, right? If Sometimes. someone was doing it always, I think we'd have a different... They sacrifice themselves yeah. a ton, yeah, yeah. 
But, yeah. but we would all benefit from more people being like that. Yeah, no, okay. I agree. Okay, yeah. That's just what I want to get at. It is, it is really, really cool. Thank you for taking the time to explain yourself to me a bit. It is really cool mm -hmm. to see that. Yeah, no, same goes for you. Okay, I, I have no further uh, points. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else to add. I think, I think we probably discussed everything that we could possibly discuss uh, this time being. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. That's it then. I'll leave you to it, man. All right. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for the call. And I just um, want to make sure it's okay for me to just upload the whole thing about two yeah. hours and 10. Okay. I don't mind. If you want to yeah. do that, go ahead. Let me know in the video. Okay. All, All right. right. Peace, bro. Bye bye.